I'll do the. Okay. <clears throat> What's up, everybody? I'm your man, Thor Gunnison. Happy Friday the 13th, everyone. It is my cohort, Rodney, the Punisher Jones. We are Dolph Castle. And today we have a full boat, a whole bunch of reveals to go over because Comic Con is coming up next week. But first, I want to introduce you to our special panel this evening. And uh, we have Mr. Sinister live from the Savage Land, Ryan Penny. What's happening, bro? What's going on, man? <laughs> And also from the land down under, we have the world's finest. We have the odd couple statue view. We have Adrian Freund. We have Jason J. Bond. What's happening, fellas? Hey, guys. How you hey, going? guys. How you going? <laughs> Beautiful, sunny Sydney. Yes, indeed. So uh, what's been going on in our collective weeks? I think, uh, Mr. Sinister, I think you got a piece in, didn't you? A fan art piece? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Right up there next to Cable. Hey, nice, nice, man. Nice. Yeah, I'm loving it. Yeah, that's what's up. Anybody else? Uh, but uh, the no, no, no. We haven't got anything at the moment. Um, next couple of weeks, maybe something. I'm still waiting on that shipping notice for yeah. Aspen. So meant to be yeah. this month. So time's running short, Sideshow. Get it out. Get it out. <laughs> yeah, we, we're going to have, hopefully, our boy uh, PJ going to join us here pretty soon. Uh, next week, uh, I'm, I'm a lockdown XM Luke Skywalker. So we're going to be live unboxing that. Thanks to my boy, Muhammad Sathic, man. Thanks for holding it for me. So uh, yeah, it is. I, I just cleaned out the space right here. <laughs> to put him, Curious to see put that. Put him right underneath his father. So, <laughs> oh, let's, dope. Right, so let's get to it. We got a lot of uh, reveals this week. Um, let me see. I think we'll start out with the Supergirl PF with the short hair, <laughs> which everybody's been enjoying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. Yeah, not so uh, much. Not so much. <laughs> Even the purists can't enjoy it. You know you're in trouble, Sideshow. Yeah, I mean, uh, look, if you can't do Art Germ Loud, just don't. <laughs> it's as simple yeah. as that. I mean, look, the I'm not, just not a fan. Just not a fan. I think it's um, it looks more like a DC collectibles piece well, than a Sideshow. It doesn't you know really I mean? feel like Sideshow at all because we have a lot of Sideshow pieces and the head sculpt really gets me with it. Yeah. Uh, a bit disappointed. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I like the cloud base that they've ripped off from XM um, and the little Comment pigeon you. that you get and stuff. But other than that, I mean, like, it's pretty pretty basic. You know what I mean? Like, what do you guys think? Yeah, I, I wouldn't see myself spending uh, 550 on this one. You know, um, it, it, maybe years ago when I first got into it, I probably was like, oh, this is pretty sick. But now, you know, you, you get into it, uh, yeah, this one – no, I like I do like it. I got a thing for uh, high knee boots, you know, from my past. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, <laughs> so that's pretty special. Uh, what do you think? Uh, well, there yeah. is one thing I've just noticed too. You notice that she um, comes with an extra arm or something because one of them's got yeah, the the, the bird in the hand. Yeah, yeah it's so lame. I I, <laughs> I I can't get with this ah, one. Right, right. So the best man. Savage, Ryan. <laughs> Savage. No, she's got like a Jeffrey the giraffe neck. Her eyes are too far apart. It just looks. It looks. It just. It just doesn't. It's. It's garbage. I think. I, I don't like it at all. It reminds me a lot of anime. Yeah, this yeah. one is very. The cartoon. eyes aren't like twice big. Right? I love anime, but the eyes are always huge. Yeah, I, I think the worst thing they could have done was when they showed this next to that Superman. They looked like they were in two different worlds to me. Like two uh, different. Yeah, I'll get to that one. I've got the picture yeah. of that. Yeah. It just, you know. It makes me, and I wasn't that huge into the old uh, Supergirl that they released, but it makes me really like that one after after seeing this one. So yeah, yeah, well, we've got the picture up now, um, Rodney, of the Superman and Supergirl together, and yeah, they just don't match. Yeah, it, it, it wasn't working. <clears throat> In actual fact, I'd say that the um, the older Supergirl PF would probably go better with the new Superman PF. Yep, yeah, that I would agree with that. Um, 
eBay got you back. <laughs> yeah. yeah looks like shit. You're right. They look like shit together. <laughs> yeah, well, Josh Ludwig said Supergirl is basic. Remember the comic book cover? It, 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 you're right, Josh, but, I mean, th those comic books weren't really big sellers. You know, like um, when most people think of Supergirl in the glory days, it's more like um, think just uh, uh, like pre-Final Crisis and the 90s run. You know what I mean? So the, the, her, her uh, comic books haven't been selling well for a while. I feel like they just need to make a Supergirl that looks just like Laura Vandervoort from uh, Smallville. Yeah, these two. These, I'm, I'm looking at this picture now. <laughs> these two don't work together at all. The Superman and Superman. Superman looks great. Okay. Yeah, I can tell you what, Alan he's he's like growing on me. I had some skepticism on him at first. What, what was it? On, what was on Superman. Yeah. Uh, just on the head sculpt and stuff like that. But oh, it, really? it, yeah, but it's 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 really growing on Is me. Is it some of the jaw or the Well, look, Superman's always known for his really, you know, well defined square jawline sort of thing, you know, yeah. but um yeah, it was just a bit too Odd. angular. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but um look, now I'm really, really digging it now. It I does think the look best. Cool. It looks a little yeah. mafioso in this, in this, you know, just yeah. a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> really, I think it's the best Superman today. It's the same guy who did the XM cable. Well, hey, what you just said then, man, you know, about um, mafioso, a bit of a repaint, man, and you could have Ultraman. <laughs> Not Ultraman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but it looks, it looks good. You know, I like the base, you know, the Brainiac. I think Brainiac's long overdue for a uh, a statue, in my opinion, you know. So, but uh, that's pretty much all about that one, yeah, son. Super girl, huh? This yeah. next one, I think our boy Rodney going to have something to say about it. We saw the uh, new Prime 1 uh, Geralt of uh, Rivia <laughs> reveal. So, um, man, now, that's there you go. There you go, Thor. I challenge you to say what the arm is called. <laughs> What the arm is called? The Spillage Undvik arm. Have you never? Have you never been to IKEA? It's not that hard. <laughs> oh yeah. Wait, wait. Yeah. So, so uh, Thor and is it Thor and Ronnie that are big Witcher fans, or did I get that completely wrong? Hey, that, that's all me. Real oh, Rodney. Oh, all right. Rodney's a big fan of the orgy scenes in the game. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> okay, now now it all makes sense. Not, not really, but it wouldn't be. <laughs> He's also a big fan of Mass Effect for that reason, too. What Andromeda, where the eye recognition's all gone? <laughs> <laughs> I wish the sorry were real. <laughs> no. So what do you think of the head sculpt there, um, Rodney? The exclusive I don't like. Um, only because I like the I like Geralt with long hair, so... I pro I won't be getting this until December. I won't be ordering this until December. I don't care if the exclusive sells out because I don't, you don't like, like the cat's eyes. Oh, I, lo I love the eyes. I don't like the short hair. The short hair kills the portrait for me, so I would never use them. This is one of I never used this armor because it was too heavy. It's one of the armors you get in one of the DLC portions of the game. Oh, boo, yeah. DLC, bro. Well, I mean, it, it was free deals. Well, actually, it was free for me. But <laughs> how does the skin? Was, how was, how was it bought out by Electronic <laughs> Arts? Was it? <laughs> how does the skin? How does the skin tone match the character in the game? Because he looks almost like pasty. He needs. He's never he's a little yeah, pasty. Sunlight. Yeah, he 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 gets a little pale. He gets a little pale. So, so, you know, what, oh, what's that? I think it's similar. The paint yeah. job here first. Okay. Yeah, the skin tone looks great. Um, yeah, That's the my, only thing I didn't like about it, but if it matches the game, what's, then What's the I can't deal with the it. scars on his face? He got a curse. In, in one of the DLC um, stories, he gets More cursed. More bloody DLC. And, it, and, and it, it it's kind of the way... He has to go through the missions to get the curse uh, released. So, so he's forced to do these missions that he doesn't really want to do, but that's the only way to get the curse off. And um, so, so it's pretty accurate. It's just my version always had the long hair. I never cut his hair off or did any of that because I, I didn't like the way it looked. Um, but I do love the effect with the flame and him throwing the flame. And I am getting it because of the light up because I wasn't sure if I was going to get it before. Like a moth um, of the, the flame, one? Rodney. You have the like first. a moth of the flame. <laughs> I'm you have the, the first, first one. Too. Yeah, I have the first one. Um, Are you going to sell like the old one? Both. No, 
Hell no. <laughs> no. I, I like the first one more. Um, I love the bass on the first one. Yeah, nice. I like I I love everything cool. about the first one. This one I like, but since I love the game and I do like the light up effect on it, and I want to see it with him, you know, with the light up with him shooting the flame. I'm gonna get this. I will tell you one thing though. And I wish, and Prime One does this all the time. I wish they would do some of it without the effects on the pictures, so I could just see the statue. Yeah. Without, yeah. Do his do his, eye, do his eyes light up, or is that just an effect? It's on. See, that's what I'm. I'm not sure if they put a light yeah, up on him. Because right? in, in the game, depending on what he takes, his eyes can light up. Like, mm. but he can take stuff that makes him see in the dark. He's kind of like a mutant. Um. Yeah, he's kind of like a mutant. <laughs> so, but yeah, I wish that's they cool would... that you're keeping both though, dude. That's the way to do it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I won't, I won't be selling the first one, but I, I am gonna order this one at the end of the year. So, yeah, those gonna look good together. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. one four scale too. For some reason, I thought it was one third. Uh, the, the first one is a quarter too. Yeah, they that's just a good size twenty two and a half inches. That's not bad. Yeah. So will you you see yourself getting any of the girls to go with it? Or? See, that was my original plan. I was gonna get Trish and Jennifer, the first version of Trish and Jennifer. Right. And now this is kind of I was like, damn. All right, do I go on, go on with that or get this? Because the problem is, for me to get Trish and Jennifer, I gotta order them through Prime One because. But then I don't want to deal with the shipping <laughs> charges. Why do you have to order it through Prime One? They're on site right now. Well. The Yennefer one, I want the exclusive. On, gotcha. on the Triss one, um, you're right. The Triss is still on, on Sideshow, so I'll probably order that one that way. But I don't want to order one unless I'm getting the both. Which one is the one that looked like Michael Jackson for mine? Like Michael Jackson? Yeah, the one with the black head. It looked oh, like Yennefer. The, Yennefer looked like, looked, like, looked like the bad version of Michael Jackson. I don't think the other girl. I don't think the other girl's released yet, right? Tris is the redhead. The other girl, um, you talking about the uh, new Jennifer one, Michael Jackson? Yeah, I think they've only released one of the girls, right? Yeah, they, yeah, they, re they, um, yeah, Tris and Jennifer, the old versions, but they're they're doing a new version of Jennifer, which is the black hair one. And yeah, oh, okay, I yeah, I don't think I'm I'm assuming they're probably going to do a new Tris too, but they haven't shown that. But I will get the old Jennifer and Tris because I like the dead animal. <laughs> the dead, the dead creature. Looks like they also have Siri. Is that another girl from it? Yeah, yeah, she okay. is. Um, like the story is him and Jennifer raise Siri. Oh, it's his daughter. I should not biological, but they they raise her as as his own, and um, Fair. she kind of disappears, and they go on a search for. Her. And she's got some powers and stuff too. But mine is Tris and Jennifer. If I get them, because when you play the game, you get to pick between which one of them. You kind of want, and you're gonna get. Are you gonna get the toad prince of Oxenfurt too? You get what? There's, there's some <laughs> giant frog and such. It's called the toad I prince. The gold version. Yeah, six hundred dollar frog. Six hundred dollar frog, dude. What the hell? Two versions of it. Like it wasn't. Hey, guys, if you're oh, after a frog like gold? that, all you gotta do is get a cane toad here from Australia and bronze it. And you said, dude, it's it's six hundred dollars. <laughs> the thing is thirteen <laughs> inches tall. Yeah, what are the hell are you paying for? Both of them will be yeah, still available next year. Dude. <laughs> there was a waste. They they have some great DLC characters they could have done. You know, they got a vampire dude that I would love to see them do, but instead they did a fucking toad two times. <laughs> it was stupid. And I picked Tris <laughs> just <laughs> there, because Jennifer was kind of a bitch in the game. But I, I, Tris looks good. I'm looking at the picture. They've got a nice color scheme going for that. No Michael Jackson. <laughs> no, no Michael Jackson. <laughs> if I ever play through it again, I may go to go to Jennifer route. But she was just too much of a pain in the ass. <laughs> cool. So next up, we got the um, Iron Man Extremist Mark II from uh, Sideshow. Collectibles at reveal the other day. I actually like the look of this one. What line is this from? It's just its uh, own line, right? This is a one a, fifth scale, from what I yeah, understand. Yeah, it's Adi Granov. It doesn't say Avengers Assemble, so it looks like it's just a different. Yeah, it's, um, it's like, just classified as a statue, so it's not a premium format or I think it's a standalone. Hmm. Okay. Yes, yeah, not like the um. 
I guess the the Batman Nightmare line. I guess that's him and Joker. So yeah. So the exclusive I, comes with the unmasked um, helmet. I don't mind the unmasked. Yeah. And I like the base. The base looks kind of cool. Yeah, this one I like to look at. I'm not a big one. fan of smoke, but I, I kind of like that smoke. That doesn't look bad. What do you guys reckon of the pose? I mean, it's your typical Iron Man pose. Yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. Had a hand out, you know, with the uh, repulsive blasts and everything. I just like the footing. Yeah, I noticed I that like too footing. with the footing. I thought, like, it very looks... rarely would you see him using just one foot. Might as well Spider Man. Foot. Might as well Spider Man or something. Like that kind of. Footing. Yeah, and then you think, how sturdy is that thing going to be? True. That, yeah. That's probably something you'd be. Well, that's yeah, the whole thing's probably a metal rod through that. Um, <laughs> The angle, into his foot the angle it up. connects in looks like it's a gonna break. Mm. I'm, I'm I'm just seeing the picture of, of the feet and the pose, <laughs> and it's reminding me of the XM Gambit and why I don't like that one. That same leg oh, up. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Spot on, actually. Right? Hey, <laughs> when I get the XM Gambit, I'm gonna put it right here so you can always. <laughs> 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 Just to, just to make you hate. No, I was make just you go to the dark it. side faster, right? <laughs> I just laugh at it. <laughs> like, hey, you can like it. I just, I just, he needs. No, it's all good. I'm just, it's all subjective, dude. This, this hobby yeah. would be so boring if we all agreed. Exactly. I yeah. do like and all the rock, dude, But no, I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> just kidding. I like all the paneling and stuff on the back. How they got the flaps and stuff open. Oh, I yeah. Check out. I see that. Oh. Jetpack coming like the, the flames coming. I like that. Okay, yeah, turns, sweet. the back does look nice. It reminds me of Mark Seven, really. You know, Mark Seven is a lot more detailed, kind of you know, more movie ish, you know, closer to the movie. But the concept is kind of sort of close to the Mark Seven, you know. Well, well actually, is from the comics, right? I'm, I'm not a, the biggest Iron Man fan, particularly of the comics now, but the, the extremist uh comic book story I, I actually did read, I, I thought it was really good. And this armor is pretty much identical. To that, yeah, you know, with all the segmentation and stuff like that. So, the arm is cool, and the arm mask option and stuff is all good. But I would have rather for the pose and maybe for concerns of stability that he used uh, both feet launching yeah. off the ground instead of just one and then one foot up. Kind of like probably would have looked better, to, in my opinion. So, how big is this one, too? What's the size on this one? Uh, uh one sec. It is 21.5 inches or 54 centimeters. That's kind I was of big. muted. I was scared. muted. I kept telling you that, and I was like, shit, I'm muted. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, well, the one. brief time I did read Iron Man, they had one uh, arc that they had like this church of Iron Man, and all these dudes had suits on. And whoever the, the the leader was, he had like this cape, man. That was, he he was all he would have made an awesome looking style. I don't know what his name was. But uh, he looked freaking badass, so <laughs> he'd make yeah. a, he'd make a good statue. But it looks you know, like it's made of. Hey, cool. it says it's made of polystone and ABS mm-hmm. and tinted resin. So the base, base. Well, the tinted man. resin would be the um the smoke base because it's that'd be that'd be the same as um XM Mysterio. What would the PVC be? The uh, smoke or the, the flaps on it? Be probably maybe. some of the flaps. Yes. Oh, okay. Part of flaps, maybe the, the arc reactor. Um, well, maybe that's not that big a deal. Though. It looked like it lights up. Yeah. I mean, it's a nice compact piece. The width and depth are 11 inches. That's not too bad. I, lo- I love that base, though. I just you can fit two, two of those in a Besta. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's cool. So this one looks pretty good. Next up, we got the um, Iron Studios Garden Galaxy Diorama. This is one tenth scale. Yeah, right? There's a bunch of them in these. Uh, first off is the Gamora one that we've got. So we'll have a look at that one. Did you say they're one tenth, right? Yeah, one tenth scale. Yeah. Their one tenth line looks good, yeah. man. Cranking them out. Yeah. yeah, they're really smashing them out, man. You know, like this is, um, I mean, it was only like a few months ago they did the actual Guardians of the Galaxy um, diorama from Guardians of the Galaxy 2 yeah. where they battle in that beast. So. Mm-hmm. It looks all right. Eh? And then they just finished, didn't they? Just finish the inf- the first Infinity War connector, one that kind of slides together. Yes. Yeah, with the Avengers and everything. Yeah. I have a friend of mine who wants to connect, collect all those. It's pretty sweet. I think their one ten scale look better than their one fourth a lot of times. 
I wonder if that's Star Lord in there as well. Oh, besides that one, of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course, cool. <laughs> Do they have a lot of one one quarter scale stuff? Well, they got their uh, Batman with the spotlight. A lot of people want that. Batman um, with the spotlight. Yeah, he's Weapon X. Oh, okay, okay. Weapon X just came out. Um, they got a few of them, and the Punisher's coming. Yeah. So, are any of you guys you interested in getting this line? Nah, one ten scale. Because it, yeah, it's a bit one ten. I don't know. I'll tell you what, they're they're not reasonably priced for one ten scale either. How like much? You, how much would you look at on that? Well, Australian, you're looking at about one forty. Yeah, no. Nah. There's <laughs> yeah, no nah. way, man. Yeah, There's nah. no way. One hundred and forty bucks for a piece of plastic. Yeah, no. Nah. No. I'm gonna tell you, back when they did their Punisher one tenth, I was I was I was thinking about Drax. getting that one tenth scale Punisher until I saw that it was like $160. Yeah, insane. Yeah, that's yeah. that's before they had ship. That's before Sideshow started shipping a lot of their stuff. Yeah, yes. remember, like I almost got the Colossus. It was two hundred bucks for the same scale, and now like all the ones coming out are like one twenty, one hundred. You know, because yeah. you don't have to buy it from Brazil or whatever. Yeah, I would have got it yeah. for a hundred. Well, when it was one sixty, I'm like, how big is it? It's like, it's, it's I think like, still for a hundred, if you compare it against a hot toy, it's kind of like, what am I doing? Yeah, know? well, that's that's what I'm saying. Like in comparison to what else you can buy for your money, mm. like double that money, and you can get yourself a pretty decent six scale. Just put it I'll triple put it, your money, and you can get yourself a, a good quarter scale. So go to a PF. Just put your money to a PF. I would. Yeah. Especially the ones coming yeah. out and stuff. And, in like the doomsday and all that, got to the bank's gonna be very stressed out. That's yeah, what I'm gonna say. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of saving <laughs> happening. But they got that line, ramen in there. Throw a lot of detail into them though. With, with that line, just say if you're into it, like just one character. Is it's that type of thing that you have to get, like collect all of them, or could you only get a few? Like, what would you guys reckon? For the one tenth, I would say you'd have to get all of them. But for like, so it's underwhelming if you just had one one tenth sitting on there, and just, like mm. that's it off of the line. I don't know. What were you going to say, Thor? No, I was saying, especially for the Guardians, you probably want to have all the whole group. You know, uh, you can't just have just Star Lord or just Drax. You know, you mm. probably want to. So. Well, that's yeah. it. I mean, like, you know, you think of, um, like, when they do their rocket and stuff, like, how much are they going to charge you for a rocket? You know, and you think, <laughs> like, he's going to be, like, this big? Probably 95 know. bucks. No big deal. One of you guys said they're plastic. I don't think they're pla Aren't they still resin? Uh, um, PVC. Uh, most of most of their like one tenths are PVC. Oh, really? I don't see those, you sure? I thought it was the other one too. I thought theirs were like resin. Oh, oh, the kids are PVC. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's what I was. Unless yeah. you get the fine art, those are resin. Not sure. We might to look that up. I'll look it up while you guys keep while we keep going. <laughs> so previews. X twenty three yeah. was this week <laughs> for all you x-men fans out there ryan uh we can't wait to get your opinion on this one she looks hideous <laughs> the hair drives me nuts so i'm not, I'm not a big x23 fan either and by the way the uh iron studios 110 line is actually polystone according to sideshow's website oh, okay so that makes it a little bit more expensive a little bit easier to i guess digest you know a little, a little bit. bit more palatable yeah exactly the X-23, I've never been that much of a fan of her. A lot of people love her, but I'm kind of like, she's just a female Wolverine. I, I, I don't like, I, and this is, I guess I'm kind of going on a diatribe here. I don't really like when they take current comic characters and they make a female version of them. Like, why not just create a new a new character? True. Yeah, you got a point. You know what I mean? I kind of agree, but in her case, it's kind of different because they tried to clone him. And it just yeah. came out of girl. You know what I mean? So that, yeah, you're right, you're right. You're right. So she should be classified as a new character herself. Technically, I mean, she's got the cool thing is her. She got different blades. Like she got two up top and one on the foot, oh, yeah. which is kind of cool. But the uh, yeah, I mean, you make a good point. But uh, yeah. yeah, I don't like her. I don't really like her. Not him, really. I haven't been a big fan of the character either. And I think like she's only getting a bit of a resurgence because of the Logan movie. And let's be honest, she wasn't that good in the Logan movie. So I disagree. Oh, I, oh, I disagree <laughs> totally. Boo. She did great what she needed to do. <laughs> Only thing I just wish she was older in the movie. They, I mean, yeah, she, me too. That'd have been better, I think, if, if they'd have made it. Well, like, I think that's the problem that I had with the character in it. That you know, she had to be more of an adult rather than the children and stuff like that. It was a bit, uh, you know, here we go again. Yeah. 
What you think? Uh, about the movie or the statue? The statue. The statue. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, it was two I, years ago. I actually like the the um, the X twenty three statue. Yeah, you does the hair bother you though? The hair, like she's like no, coming down. Of the the like, it, it would. I would think it, it looks absolutely silly if the hair was down. Wow, she's in that well, pose. It depends on which arc she's going, right? Like, is she jumping up? Then the hair she's would be down. Up, she's down. at the apex and coming down, then she'd be, you know, or, or right. is she coming down from like the apex of her jump? Then the being up makes sense. I just don't like the look. I don't, I don't like, I don't think, I don't like that pose on my shelf. That's just me. Gotcha. I don't yeah, like I'm, character. You know, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm assuming she's jumping down. And, you know, I just, I like it because it's a different pose, it's a different look. Um, you know, we'll know more when we get some light on it. <laughs> some so light look, it. They look good next to Wolverine, man. As now, it is now, are you going to buy it, though? See, here's the thing. As much as I like all the X-Men stuff that's coming out, I'm not collecting X-Men. Unless they do a gambit, I'm it's not It's outside buying. your focus. I got you. Yeah, yeah, unless they do a gambit. And if they do a gambit, I'll probably get him and maybe Rogue to go. I don't know if you know, but X-Men is doing it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I'm not a fan of, of the super opera. Gonna keep bringing it up all episode. <laughs> it's in size two seventy. I don't give a damn. <laughs> Three hundred plus in shipping. <laughs> That's enough for me. So next we have one. That, uh, these two gentlemen, I thought about immediately when I saw it. We got the Batman Superman. Diorama from Sideshow. Move over, Wolverine. Yes, about time, about time. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Let's Man, get they it do, on. They do enough bloody Batman, but, you know. Like, just take this, my money. Just take our just money take now. My money. You know, I, I, this could be my um, 1K rule broken, I think. Easy. Think Easy. No question asked. This, this will be a day, day one PO for me. But I'm curious about what the fellas are thinking of it. Like, what, what do you guys reckon? Look, I'm thinking about giving them my money on this one. That, that hey, one is that's it. it. Ryan, what about you, man? Rodney? No. Got to knock out Superman and Batman one full stroke. <laughs> yeah. Not at all for me. I, I do. I'm not a big Superman fan, but I do really like Boom! that Superman. Hold on. I really like the Superman PF, though. I'm still, yeah. like, itching on it. Oh, it's the rebirth look. Yeah. So they made I'm him older. Like... They brought back the 90s Superman and brought him into the mainstream and made him older. I really like the look. I really like the, the the head sculpt and the base on that. So that that may I may get that one. I'm not a big diorama guy either. Uh oh! oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Alexa, <laughs> stop music. Oh, no. Oh, he's arrived. PJ has hey, arrived. Guys. Did they find your statue, intro, PJ? Right? Did they find, <laughs> yes, did they find the writer. predator? Oh, what's up, guys? What's going on? Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> You yes, <laughs> All right, I'm here. Let's so rock. Rodney's, Rodney's, <laughs> we should give some background. Rodney's late because he was, or I'm sorry, yeah, PJ's late. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong thing. PJ's late because he was calling UPS asking where his predator. Did you get your predator? Um. Yeah. Basically. Um. Wait. So what happened? Was, I guess, <laughs> Binary I question. Right. It's yes um, or no. It's yes or no, dude. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Um, no, I didn't get my package, but it's coming on well, on Monday. They were able to uh, locate it. it. So that's cool. yeah. Long story short, I got it. <laughs> so we're, we're talking, talking like an we're hour. Talking about the uh, Batman versus Superman diorama from Sci-Fi. Oh, I'm sold. Like, oh, yeah, this, yeah, this lovely thing. Really, um, I didn't know um, you were a DC guy. Uh, I, I'm always yeah. I always liked Batman versus Superman, but. Like you know, like I mentioned in previous chats, is like there, I'm working so on him, many... Ryan. I'm working on him. Right? Is PJ really no. breaking my heart right now? Yeah. No, but it's just like there's a lot of like Batman and Superman statues. Like you know, if I buy one, I'm gonna want to buy another one and sell the old. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm trying to like this is like best of, best of, of of both worlds. You know, uh, yeah. I don't know how the Superman uh, head sculpt looks like, but um. I like it the looks Batman. very similar uh, to the PF. Yeah, yeah it looks the, like, ba the Batman yeah, it looks, looks like the one from the movie, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it just looks that Batman looks I badass. Like, I didn't like the Batman. I like the Superman. And uh, Jeff Delaney in the chat saying too, but why the elongated man should not get on the soups? I think it's more. I think it's um, the angle. I, I I think it's just that angle, mate. I think it, when you look at it front on, it's going to look pretty good. But look, the things that in this one already, like we, we haven't seen the full reveal pictures and stuff, but just from what we're seeing now. 
I love the uh, Lex Luthor green kryptonite ring. Yes. That's Superman. Yep. You know, it's, it's like if you're a fan of the characters, you, you you know the backstory and stuff. So just from this, it's telling me a story. That ring, he Superman actually gave the Batman after he confiscated it from Lex Luthor with the uh-huh. thing that where he said to him, you're the only man on the planet that I trust to hold this and, and put a stop to me in case I get mind control or something like that, or I go evil. And that he's actually using it. What what the hell has led to this battle happening, you know? So that, that that's why it's a, a big piece for me that I'm going to get. It, it's a guaranteed yeah, gonna, piece. Uh, it's a guarantee. Depending, if they mess up on that Superman head sculpt, then, um, then I'm out. But to be honest, that is... See, I like dioramas. Like for me, th- if this is a one fifth scale, just like the Hulk versus Wolverine, I'm I'm sold. Uh, basically, because um, it's just one of those things. Is like you know you run out of room, and uh, this just kind of like saves up room. You kill two birds with one stone if you don't have a Superman or a Batman statue, and I don't have neither one of them. And I feel like I'm exactly. killing two birds with one stone with That's this one. Wait. Well, yeah, but don't you don't you have yeah. don't you have bestas, PJ? <laughs> yeah, I mean I have bestas, but so you could fit I two mean, one four scales next to each other most um, of the time. I would think most well, most of the time I'm looking at. I mean, there's certain ones I could fit, but the, you know I like to display them, you know, on their own. Especially like this one is like there. It's like a a battle scene, you know. So I I feel like you know. It's it's really good that way, just to kind of get the diorama, as opposed to two different poses for two different characters, you know. Well, so, for me, honestly, yeah. I mean, oh, this is going to be perfect next to the Batman versus Bane diorama, and I want to get the Superman yeah. versus mm-hmm. Doomsday diorama from Iron Studios, and I think yeah. the three of them together is just that, I'll, that's I'll my bring a tear that, to your that, eye, that is my childhood <laughs> in one. I don't, like, I don't like the yeah. Superman. <laughs> what do you I think just hope that what. What was that, Ronnie? I, I mumbled, mumbled on uh, <laughs> wait, 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 what did you say, Ronnie? Oh, okay. The super <laughs> I was telling him I don't like Superman's face on the Superman Doomsday diorama. As far as the Batman Superman. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Yo, Ronnie, no, I haven't said it to you before, hey, man. Hey, I don't I think we can be friends anymore, Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> you are the PP of the as far as... <laughs> As oh my far, goodness! As far as the Batman, that is Superman. just freaking sacrilege, bro. Like that hey. is one of Iron Studios' best jobs that they've done yet. It looks like his face was glow in the dark. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yo, Ronnie! <laughs> like, if I feel like, like I need to like dissect your brain because your brain is like all the way out. Special, I don't know. Show some photos of it. It glows. It looks like it glows in the dark. But as far as Batman Superman, this would probably be my chance to get a Superman statue. I'm, I'm really liking it so far. I'm curious what the base is gonna look like, and I'm hoping they they keep it right in line with the Hulk versus Wolverine as far as pricing. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. I was just gonna ask yeah, if you need the price. Okay, but we'll see. <laughs> PJ, I noticed you're hanging out with Red Sonia. A year. lot. Oh, oh, oh shoot! I, 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 with them dollars. <laughs> She, she just follows him around the house. Damn, she was just right there. Jeez. Well, he said he she was there. <laughs> I've been told, yeah. uh, PJ, that them boobs are high maintenance. They take a lot of dusting on a regular basis. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, I think I see one right now. All right. <laughs> gone. It's gone. Not dust. <laughs> <laughs> Damn dust. So, um, yeah, I- I'm I'm sold on it. Seriously, like. I think uh, Sideshow should do more uh, dioramas, in my opinion. Especially, like, how about some Star Wars, man? You know, yes, some Star Wars. We absolutely agree, PJ. Yeah. See, we agree on Oh, something. my gosh. <laughs> well, That's like know, hey, PJ, now you know you're wrong. Rodney's agreeing with you. <laughs> I know. My goodness. Um, actually, did you, when you guys – let me ask you guys. When you guys – who are, who has the Hulk versus Wolverine? Me. Uh, who, okay. Did you guys pre-order from the, the website? No, yeah. I bought it from us. <laughs> I bought it from the website. Oh, okay, because all right. So when you bought it, right? Did they ask you like a questionnaire after you bought it? No. All right. So because when I when I pre-ordered mine, I think I pre-ordered mine like day one, right? Uh, mm-hmm. they after I pre-ordered it, they sent me a questionnaire asking me, 
uh, what w- what would you like to see in the future as far as dioramas? And I just wrote oh, wow. down like, oh, yeah, I wish they would do that more yeah. often when you when you pre order uh like you know statues and stuff. Like get some feedback from your fans instead of just like making stuff on your own. You know, yeah, that's just my opinion. That. Yeah, I would have liked I, that. I, I wonder if that Batman versus Superman was a cat. You know, was a like a result from all that sur- the survey that everyone took after they uh. They pre-ordered the Hulk versus Wolverine. Damn it. I well, feel actually, in saying that, um, PJ, I think that I'm just trying to remember off the top of my head. I can only really honestly recall one uh, Batman versus Superman uh, battle statue before, and that was, uh, I think, done by Hallamore. was a, a fan art. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, well, besides yeah. that, no one... No. Uh, Superman's, like, holding Batman on the ground, kind of? Yeah, Superman's choking yeah. him out. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. was nice. Yeah, um, but for me, when I when I took that survey, I put down like Yoda versus like Emperor, like you know, diorama. That would have been awesome. And, yeah, you know, Vader somebody up in the air, something. Yeah, something. Didn't they I do mean, a those, Yoda those... versus Emperor, the one in the um uh, Senate Chamber one? Didn't they do one? I think no. Kotobukiya Koto Buki- Koto did one. Oh, did they? Yeah. Yeah, because I know they have Yoda and uh, with the clone, the the clone war, they stabbing uh, clone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, anywho, yeah. Go ahead, dude. No, actually, someone I I, from the groups actually modified the for that lightsaber to light up because that lights lightsaber doesn't light up. Oh, the one we stabbing the clone trooper. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, it looks dope, man. Like seriously, I was like, wow, that's that's pretty dope. All right, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. Anyhow, here's one I'd like to dissect. We have the Thor Breaker of Brimstone. Oh, no, no, with- you're missing one. You're missing one. I miss some. Who we miss? No, I miss nobody. You miss Doomsday. Oh, 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 I miss him. No, no, Thor's listed first. Oh, oh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you're all right. There you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so we know it's really good. <laughs> Breathe it in, Krypton. Yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, pretty impressive. In. Notice the two hammers. <laughs> what is the name of that hammer? Um, the Storm Breaker. Storm Breaker. Storm Breaker. That's yeah. Beta Ray Bill's hammer. My yeah, just like the one in uh, Infinity War or mm. somewhere. You know what? I think mm. everyone that owns previous versions of Thor are just worried about the price <laughs> of them going like that. Oh, they're gonna <laughs> set theirs on. They're gonna set theirs on fire and get the new one. That's why I didn't get them. Let it burn. This one will be purchased. Believe it. So, when you purchase that one, where are you gonna are you gonna replace it with one of your one six scales? No, 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 no. I, I like your style. There's always more room, baby. Yeah, <laughs> this you see because uh, right right i'll do you a room to a video as you can see from over here mate when you run out of room you can always install more shelves yeah i know i like the way you did that stuff looks like a living version of like tetris 3d <laughs> tetris or some shit it is bro it <laughs> actually is, what it is. <laughs> the pre-planned so, discussions of where the hell you're gonna put that shelf for hours sorry what were you saying thor no, I was about to walk you through the statue. You see, he is battling the fire giant, giant Surtur. You see, giving a uh, killing blow with one hammer and then has the Stormbreaker to give him another one with the lightning just for good measure, you see. And uh, <clears throat> this is the more modern looking Thor, you know, not the classic Thor that I'm used to. But uh, the only thing I do not, there's two things I don't like about this statue. One, I wish the, the cape was sculpted, you know, because I like sculpted capes better. Mm-hmm. Two, I wish the wings were feathered. 
you know, I like the feather wings better because the feather wings got a little bit more definition when they sculpt and you see each individual feather just looks better to me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? In my opinion, he's got like these dragon kind of reptile wings on this thing here, you know, which uh, I ain't, that ain't happening for me. But uh, other than that, fantastic. I love it. I, mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you, I'm not into Thor pretty much at all. Mm -hmm. And every once in a while, I buy a statue just because I love the way it looks. This would be on the list of I'm gonna buy it just because I love the way this statue looks. Because this is by far, <laughs> sorry, the best looking Thor statue I have seen. Like, as far so. as my taste, I love this about everything about it, especially the pose. I love the base with the flames or lava, or whatever the hell that is underneath. I wonder if that lights up because um, it keeps showing. It looks like it lights up. That's yeah, it's yeah. it's gorgeous. It's mm -hmm. it's sick. It has an attitude. I love it. So <laughs> that's one for me. A, a non Thor fan, <laughs> and I think this definitely is ex or fail. At least in my opinion, gotta yeah. have the double oh. the double hammer action. Gotta have it. Yeah, you I'm, know, I'm I'm either way with that, but. What you think, Ryan? I agree. He actually fail. You gotta yeah. have the two hammers, even if it doesn't really make sense comic book wise. It's gonna. No, look it does. Good. It does actually. It's actually one Isn't book. Uh, okay. He had two hammers. It was one where it was like they were it were crossing time sort of thing. It was this one guy they were following through time to an old Thor, young like real young Thor, Thor as we know him now, and then older Thor when he took over for Odin, they all met. And to the old one and the young one were getting their ass whooped. So old one passed him his meal there. So this dude had two hammers. Oh, you know, I had to go change some underwear after that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was <laughs> nice. So, uh, yeah, yeah, but um, yeah, it, it was. Yeah, he's had he's had the double hammer, but that's actually Beta Ray's hammer, so it could happen. Yeah, I knew that much. Yeah, yeah, it looks cool. <laughs> But I mean, his, I assume his, and this is kind of a side note, his, the Stormbreaker, they, I assume they overpowered that thing in the uh, movie, right? Um, well, that's actually not the Stormbreaker. That's more of the ultimate hammer, you know, because this. From know, the you, ultimate universe? Right. It looks, okay. it looks, it looks similar to, it's got an axe on the back also, but you know, the Stormbreaker, they made that for Beta Ray, so they just look similar. So that's, that's not the Stormbreaker. I'll have to come to you when I start looking for some Thor comics to. Or oh, dude, to buy. I, I, I can show you some stuff, my brother. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> and he's I'm lost. Comics. I want to read more, but I'm, I'm lost with him. I know okay. Jason will want to get the statue. I think you, you're into it, isn't he? Well, you're what about you? <laughs> okay, because here's something. We've all seen this preview video when it came out earlier in, on in the week, and we've seen uh, pictures and stuff like that. That was Adrian's first time that he saw it, mm -hmm. and I wish you had his first, see his face his when he was time. seeing it. What do you think of it, Adrian? <laughs> that looked Did you say that was your son's man. first time? I was not expecting it, um, but the, only, the first thing that popped in my head when I'm like, you know, when you're like, oh, is, am I in or not for this statue? I had to go no, <laughs> and that's because of the diorama we're looking at. You know, we've got the Doomsday Market, you know. Like, Mate, you know, just like that little Mexican girl on the ads. Why not both? Because we already got two coming. This is going to be the, like the fourth, the fifth. Like um, so, so, gonna, so, so just thinking like trying to borrow like, mate, if, less nights going out on the piss and more money into the statues, and we can do it. Nah, I still can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't do it, man. If you do not have all these statues lined up. That might be an option for you. Is what you're saying? Mm. Yeah. What about you, PJ? Um, it's a good. I mean, definitely. It's, oh shit! Uh, <laughs> Sonya's <laughs> changed colors. Yeah, go to Sonya for Hulk. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh shit! What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell happened to? All right. Um. Damn. So what happened was, um, when I first saw it, saw it like the 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 video for it, I was like, you know, blown away in how I, finally they came out with a really cool action pose, a uh, really cool dynamic pose. Um, you know, because a lot of the the Thor statues is kind of like bland. Uh, Thor statue in the back is like probably one of the best looking Thor statues I've ever seen. Uh, there's another one, the most recent one, right? Is it the classic one where he's like his hands are like this? I don't know. It's kind of weird. For the modern one, I don't like. Yeah, the, pose. the modern one, I don't. See, yeah, it looks good, but I don't like the pose. Yeah, I don't like the pose either. And I feel that the pose is really good. Uh, definitely EX or go home on this one. You have to have both store uh, the dual like camera. Wielding hammers. Um, uh, 
everything looks good. I mean, the only complaint I have probably is just like the top half of his uh, his uh, costume. Uh, it looks kind of weird. Just like it looks like it's like elasticy on the sides. I mean, but, but I'm just nitpicking, nitpicking at this point. But really, beautiful statue. I have to see in terms of my collection at that point if I'm going to pick him up. But if I, you know, if I had to own one Thor statue, this would probably be it. Um, the only ones I, I like better, I mean, actually, there is nothing I like better than than this statue well, uh, as like, right now. Well, PJ, in terms of Thor. PJ, you don't like that one? <laughs> Which one? The Thor. Yeah, I don't like that either. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The one where he's like, just wants to put his hand on your shoulder. It's weird. <laughs> yeah, the, the creepy one. Yeah, that, that's the one I was talking about. Yeah, that one is creepy. That, that, that pose is like really weird i mean no offense to anyone that that picked it picked him up um i just felt like you know just the that little hand gesture is just kind of off you know yeah well, my, a lot of people say the og one is the is the best one you know the one where he's holding the hammer up like this and uh you ever seen then the ex it has uh, been has a, dethroned my friend yeah I, I i think so you know i've seen i haven't never seen it in person but i like this one a whole lot better now did you guys ever see the bowen one the bowen um force the spinning not the one hammer that, one or? not the not, not the spinning hammer one where he's got his uh like chainmail armor like on yeah. his arms that one is badass i mean just the just the the pose <laughs> and that one is just oh, badass i mean oh, that one comes to, what's up it's a modern one. I see it. Yeah, that one is badass. I mean, modern. I just love the pose. It has like a lot of. Presence. Oh yeah, I know the one you're talking about. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I mean that one guys, is. That, yeah, that one's a do badass. Any got, do any of you guys like the XM one? The one Eric so I've seen that in person. It looks better in person than it does. That's what I heard. I heard the skin tone's better in person. Yeah, but I still the one. I like the bearded head sculpt. I really like that one. Yeah, when you spin in the hammer. Oh, oh, yeah, I don't like that. Well, look, I'm not that that one, that Ryan, one. If, if you're a, a fan of the 90s run, you'd probably go more for the bearded one. But I think, look, everyone's thinking more classic and clean cut Thor, you know. So, yeah. But, look, mm -hmm. you know, everyone's saying X or Thor. I don't think so. Like, you know, I, I yeah. think if, if you don't have a Thor in your collection and you're just mm -hmm. after a, a, great any, start, a, yeah. a good start of a Thor, yeah. I think there's going to be a lot of collectors going to be very happy just even getting the collector's edition with that one. Because I think... Um, with with Mjolnir, I, I really like how the inscription and everything's done on the hammer. Yeah, the I think it's, it's done really, really well. Like great detail. You reckon, you reckon it's cool. one of those ones when you get in real life, like you know how you got the you know teaser and then you got the photos and then you finally get in real life, it's going to meet up to that expectation. I have a feeling it will. I think it'll be like a you Captain know, Marvel, yeah, like one that you saw the photos and thought it looks good, da 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 da. But what's it going to be like when you get it in hand and then when you get yeah. it in hand you're like whoa my god it's even better than the photos yeah, so yeah I, it'll be uh -huh. I think daniel bell did it too that's the rumor going around yeah, yeah. yeah he did oh yeah oh, he did he did he did he do liked it. a bunch in of posts in the preview you can actually see him sculpting it oh um, was that him okay yeah. yeah i i followed him on facebook and he 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 was thanking everyone that uh, gave uh good uh, support for the thor statue so Sick. Yeah, I agree with Jason. I, I don't think it's it's X or fail. Don't get it wrong. If I had the exclusive, I would use it because I think it's a, a very good exclusive, but it's not you need it's not that you have to have it. But I, I just yes, think wrong. you have to have it, Ron. <laughs> no. <laughs> What's wrong with having an extra hammer in your hand? <laughs> if you get it with that, then great. But if you miss out on the exclusive, it's, it's not something that you gotta. Oh, I can't get it now. No, it still looks great without both hey. hammers. Hey, PJ, yeah. you're going to it the looks... wrong gyms, bro. Yeah, but you know, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna disagree with you real, real quick. <laughs> you always me... disagree with me. That's why I love you. Man. <laughs> That's why I love Ronnie. Me and Ronnie. <laughs> We have this like we just love we love we love to disagree. It's just like one of those things. But you know, it's it's not it's it's you know. Um, but no offense, Brian. Like I I totally understand where you're coming from. But I mean, I'm always a fan of any like if you have two weapons, i.e. like this Hulk. I mean, come on, man. Nothing bad. <laughs> What's wrong with having two hammers? Why would someone go? Hmm. Yeah. I'll I'll, I'll pass on the extra hammer. You know. I mean, yes, if you miss out on it, yes, you have no choice but to pick it up. 
but don't put yourself in that position where you're going to miss out on it. If you oh, see so it and you're, smart. you're like 90% sure that you're going to get it, just get it. You know, yeah. don't, I, I don't know. It's just one of those things. Like, I think I missed out on, on so many statues, uh, just because I'm like, Oh, it's okay. I'll, 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 I'll get it on later on, later on. Next, you know, I turn around, it's like waitlisted and I'm like, Oh shoot, I missed out on it. You know, I do the opposite. I'll PO it and then be like, Hmm. I don't want to <laughs> no, no, that's good though. I mean, yeah, not if you're not getting the POs back. <laughs> yeah, true. I know all those riches, Ryan. We all can't afford to throw away PO money. One <laughs> statue. <laughs> See, I, I, which I don't understand is uh, with the PO, with the the NRDs. Right? Why can't they just transfer it to another statue? Like you're gonna you're gonna order it another statue anyway. Right. You know, I've, I've asked way it pays, because PJ, well, think it about how much money, money they make in NRDs not being refunded to people who change their mind. Well, that and it costs them money to do transactions, so it probably costs them not probably that much, but some fraction of it, and it makes up for that. I mean, I, I've heard of sideshow giving it back sometimes, right? Yeah, no, that's I, what I heard. Oh, no, look, I, no, no, no. I, a prime I, example I, is with me when, when I just recently cancelled a bunch because of the new tax laws that changed here in Australia. And they were more than understandable. They said that's completely fine, and they refunded all of my NRDs. So that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That's well, I told. Yeah, they did. They did the same thing for me too. Like I don't. I try. You know, obviously, you don't. You don't try to abuse that. Uh, that sometimes like that. Uh, the privilege to be able to cancel it and get your money back. But um, there's been times where I'm like, you know, um, it just didn't work out. Like, you know, there's too many. There's too many statues coming in in, in one month. I'm like, I, can't, I have to cancel it. You know, they'll try to work with you with the payment plan first, but if they can't, then they'll just, you know, they'll cancel it. And then they'll, you know, sometimes they'll, they'll give your money back. So yeah, don't worry about it. You know, you're, you're a loyal customer. They'll look at you like how long you've been a customer for yeah. and your transactions. If you're like one of those that keep on pre-ordering, canceling pre-order, I'm sure then they won't make an exception for you. But if you do it once in a while, I'm sure they'll be able to help you out. You know? Yeah. Other yeah. examples that they've done it for me for was, um, uh, Captain Phasma, because of the delays mm -hmm. to the. Oh, yeah, they're going to be yeah. out now, but yeah, now they're that. saying like, not until Christmas. And you're like, man, look, I've already paid for it. Give me my cash. Man, I don't even know why you want it in the first place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. Like, straight off. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I agree with Adrian. By the way, Adrian, I didn't say hi to you, man. What's hey, up? Man, how you going? I missed you, bro. Yeah. I miss you. How, I miss how's you the corner you going? Yo, you, can't, I need my you, can't you can't see that in, in chat, man. Well, <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Let our, let our love show, man. Don't worry about it. It's all right, PJ. We're paying after, 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 after the show. <laughs> 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 yeah. But, uh, yeah. Doomsday. Oh, what was that? But wait, 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 hey. Uh -oh. You still missing it. Where, where's the cut, PJ? Like, you, you're avoiding yeah. it. <laughs> huh? What happened? We agreed 25% for protection, wasn't it? Oh, we're going to get off topic. <laughs> Thor, take control of the show. <laughs> I, can't, I, 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 can't, I can't talk anymore. <laughs> Doomsday. <laughs> Doomsday, there we go. Okay. Day one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, gonna get this one, dude. How it's got like the hair, like the nineties. What we're saying, the nineties yeah. doomsday. That that's it. The only thing, um, not nineties about him is the um the armored yeah. suit pants and that that he's got that's been sort of torn off and stuff. Yeah. But Isn't far that, like, this too? is freaking fantastic. As long as you show his spikes well, yeah, you did well, man. Like that's it. I'm getting it. I mean, I like the prime one one, but with the price that they wanted for that, it was mm, yeah, no. But this one, yeah, yeah, I think I'll I'll definitely be on board this one. What about um what about you, Thor and Rodney? Um, I love the way it looks. I won't be getting it just oh. because I don't see a Superman that I would get to go with it, other than that Batman versus Superman statue. So, but I love the way it looks. I knew you'd um, say no. <laughs> I knew you'd say no. I was like, here Stop. we go. I like it though. It's just, <laughs> I won't get it. <laughs> Nothing to go with. I Wait, like so it. If I kind of like a Superman to go with. You you get it then, or yeah. If I had a Superman that I liked, I would get it. All right, fair enough. That is fair. Well, just picture this. I'm actually picturing the Superman v Doomsday diorama, yeah. flanked by the Superman PF and Doomsday. 
<laughs> good setup for you. I like. I kind of like the ex head better with the uh, with the mask kind of torn off. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't know. We had a picture, but I, you know, I've seen pictures where they did have the uh, the ex head. Oh, really? So, yeah. Well, that's that, that's a different mask. Like where it's half torn, you see half. Yeah, mask, yeah. We, right. Yeah, with had like the goggle kind of on one side. Yeah. The, well, see, that's that's straight out of the original comic, man. So yeah, yeah. I'm I, that that I'm getting that. That's that's for sure. Yeah, that one. So that's ex affair for you. Mm-hmm. Depends on the like. I've got to see. Like, I've got to. I'm in that dastly situation now with these new tax laws and everything like that. I've got to see what pop culture here in Australia released the regular edition for as opposed to Sideshow. Because with Sideshow, I've got to pay the shipping where I get free shipping from pop culture and the GST. And the 10% GST. So yeah. where the GST is already included in the price with the one from pop culture. So right. it's got to weigh it up now. It's just extra looking for us, basically. Extra homework. Yep. More in the PJ, what do you think, man? I pass. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't have a Superman to pair him up with, uh, and he looks off. Like I like the the Prime One better than this. Um, I don't know, Jason. You said you like this uh, statue. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a more comic book accurate. So PJ says uh, he doesn't like it, and then he doesn't give me the cut. So <laughs> we have a little chat uh, after the show, right? PJ? I don't know. It's just I don't know. Like there's just something like from the picture, he looks like he has blonde hair. Oh no, that's just um, that's just the effects, the glow effects. Oh, okay. So does he come with his cape? Does he actually yes. come with his cape? Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. I think it was a must. Have a cape. Yeah. The prime one one has the like the right flag. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, on the pole. Which is actually from the comic book. If you get to the last panel of the comic and you open it up, there it is, his cape like shredded and caught on, in the wind on a pole near his dead body. Mm-hmm. I, I still yeah. want my Lois Lane holding Superman uh, diorama from Death of Superman. I still want that. And I know nobody will make it, but... Um, yeah. Honestly, I'm not, I'm honestly I'm not bro, I can't Red see art. why someone wouldn't. And that's the truth, Rodney. I mean, like, um, whether it be fan art or one of the major studios, it, it's only a matter of time, man. Particularly, uh, with would, the, particularly with wait, the new um, uh, Death of Superman what? animated film that came out. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah. Like I, I, me personally, I don't see why it's such a problem that a studio can't make it since it's something that was in your books. But I, yeah. well, no, well that's the other thing too. You're thinking um, the Disney Marvel thing. Um, DC doesn't have that. Like you know, DC. Wouldn't surprise me if they did one of um, Barbara Gordon with the bullet hole through her after the Jake ran his way with it, you know, sort of thing. You know, they, they do do that sort of stuff. I mean, that would be a day one for me. I love that picture so much. That would be a day one for me if somebody made that. Yeah, R- Rodney, did you like? The, do you like the Doomsday? I like it, but I don't have a a Superman that I like enough to get to go with it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, all right. Let, let's see if let's see if we've sucked in a Marvel fan. What do you reckon, Ryan? I think Doomsday is trash. He was part of the biggest <laughs> oh, cash no, grab no, ever no. in comic history. Ryan oh, might not be available for no next week's episode. He's not even. <laughs> what are you talking about, oh, man? Drop the mic no, on I, everybody. I don't do it. I can't. I can't stand him. He said that last week that he didn't like Doomsday. Wait, wait. Why? Why? Why mm. is he trash? I want to hear this. I want to hear this. So, so I mean, so there's two things, right? He doesn't have much. He has no personality, right? He's just a mindless Definitely. creature. That's right? that's Definitely. that's um that that has changed from time to time. Has it? Okay. Well, I haven't read that part. When he first came in, he was. Just some mindless beast. So yeah, I, I, yeah, I, that a, definitely a, a, draws a killing me. Killing a destruction not... machine that just uh, kills from the apex predator and works his way down the chain. And worse than Hulk, right? I mean, at least Hulk has a little bit of personality, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So no, that, well, that's um, my Doomsday reason. was a bioweapon. Mm. Fair. But still. So, still for not. example, like, so when the Kryptonians created him, right? What it was originally designed for. So, so if you were gonna, if you were gonna um, colonize a planet or, or take out a planet's mm-hmm. defenses. You'd send it's him like down so first, cool. let him take so out cool. everybody, and then basically all the infrastructure's left, but everyone's been killed. You know, so Who, what, what then you just sedate him, pins... and put him back in his cage, and take over the planet. Yeah, but what kind of moron pins him to an asteroid and then just ships him off into space? I mean, come on. 
<laughs> well, actually, on, her, on Earth. Well, no, he, he, that was them. that was afterwards. That was Cyborg Superman that did that to him, uh, and that was that was his dead body. But then you see him come alive on the asteroid going into space. Initially, in the comics, he was actually dumped here on Earth because there was nothing here on Earth. Like it was just a, a mud ball. Like there was no life. So they buried yeah. him in like a chamber deep, deep, deep down yeah. and sedated him in that. Yeah. And then over millions of years, the sedation wore off and that, and he starts pounding his way out of his box. And it takes an like, absolute beast. Well, in the comics, it was like nearly a month of comics. That's still so stupid, though. The why wouldn't you just, yeah, why why would you just take him? If you have a killing machine, just take him and throw him in the sun. Done. Why would you put him on a planet? Stupid. Just throw him in the sun. Well, I didn't want to kill him. They... Did want to use him again down the track. It's just that they got wiped out. They didn't come back for him because they were dead. But you said he's genetically created, right? He's a, I don't know. I, I don't like him. I don't like him. Okay, I well, put it this way. If, if you, there's um, Hunter Prey, okay, that you got to read. And that actually goes through the origins. So if he is from Krypton, but he wasn't created by Kryptonians. He was created by this um, weapons master that was like one of the world well, universe's greatest geniuses. And it's not helping. Well, no, basically, they the part of him that makes him strong and why, like, he started off like a human baby, like, looked like it wasn't a human, but looked, looked human. And they basically put him out on crypto because it's like ancient Krypton where it's like deadly as shit, you know? And they've got these animals that will just tear you to shreds and all this sort of stuff. So they put him out there. Every time he gets killed, they bring him back and they reanimate him. And then he can't die that way again. So after like 300 deaths, you end up with Doomsday. I got nothing for you, dude. Still, <laughs> it's not helping me. <laughs> Look, like it's he me it worse. is Why a, you keep a B it character. I have to agree with Ryan. He is like, uh, he I don't know. This is one of those. Do, you know who's a good character? Dark Side. Dark Side's probably one of my yep. favorite. Is my favorite mm -hmm. DC villain. Well, and I like him a lot better than Dark Side. Actually, kept Doomsday's body as a weapon. What? Dark Side actually kept Doomsday imprisoned as a weapon. Well, he's an idiot too, then. I mean, just, <laughs> I'm not a dumb mistake no, after another, right? No, because no, no, right. he can actually contain him with his Omega Beams. That's uh, not helping. <laughs> I don't like him. I just don't like him, right? I'm biased. I don't like it. I'm not Before biased. Before we move on, I will say this about Doomsday. He, he was the first... When I read the book, you know, Death of Superman, that was the first time I actually felt physical pain looking mm -hmm. at this book because he took, like, the Blue Beetle... In this car door, he just kept slamming it. I was like, Jesus Christ. You know what I mean? And, so and what he did to Supergirl. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> he turned oh, her well, the yeah, that was um <laughs> the Matrix yeah. Supergirl. So yeah, he splattered yeah. her when he hit her. But yeah, well, that was yeah. I'm with you, uh Thor. I, I'll be honest, man, as a as a young per younger person reading, that was the first comic that when I got to the last panel, there was actually a tear in my eye. You know, like the, it was that emotionally investing of a, of a comic book that that and look, I understand if you're not a what? DC fan and you're not into the into them sort of characters, you wouldn't. But if you're a, a hardcore Superman fan, Doomsday was just like no way because Superman always found a way, but in this time he didn't. Yeah, and then five of them came back or whatever, right? They That's weren't a story him. for another day. Bullshit. Whatever. <laughs> We had the Sidelock uh, reveal for uh, PF. <laughs> this one for you, man. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, boy. Here we go. So they somehow Ooh. managed to whitewash Sidelock. I don't really understand oh, how they accomplished this. You really yeah. have to try hard at this. Oh, wow. Yeah. Ryan, it's go awful. ahead. It was awful. She's not even Asian. She's like European or, you know, she's white bread. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I think uh, it's yeah. stupid. It looked uh, great uh, up until the face, and then you're like, she's like a butterface, right? She looks yeah. good, butterface. <laughs> well, you know what? I, I think the people in the in the groups have really spoiled it for me. Like, um, I think so, I, I I sent you guys in the in the in yes, chat that, 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 that has guy, and I was just like, you know what? I was a maybe at the up to that point. Now I'm definitely a no. Uh, oh they, like you said, Ryan. Like this is such a such a, a disrespect to the character. Like Psylocke is Asian. I'm Asian, and I was like looking forward to seeing her face. And then next, you know, it's like like you said, it's like a European. I don't know. 
what to call you know call her call him at this point i mean her whatever you want to call him her whatever <laughs> but <laughs> Psylocke in, in the comic books and everywhere else is asian but w- what is this <laughs> um the Wait, body looks great the movie she was hawaiian hawaiian that's hawaiian. i've been to hawaii they don't look like that <laughs> Wait, what movie are you talking about? Yeah, in, uh, sure, no. Man, Apocalypse? Yes. Nah, she's half Thai, Matt. Olivia Munn's like half Thai. Oh, Shiny. I don't know what she is. I just think she's hot. If she was white, that matters, Jason. I think oh she's half Chinese. Like her mom's Chinese, the dad's American. Oh shit, you might be right. It's definitely not. See, Japanese. none of us know. But who cares? Who cares? Yeah, because she sucks the mattress. Mattress. <laughs> Okay, who who cares? But he's she still looks like a guy. <laughs> what, what do you Hold think? on, we talking about I'm Olivia Munn or the statue? The statue. Oh, the statue. Oh, the statue. Olivia Munn definitely don't look like a guy. Um, yeah, I, I, I think it's guy-ish. I, I want to say it's a guy. I, I want to like it. I need to see a different angle because that that far eyebrow kind of throws it off for me. It makes it look like she's a little mannish right there, and I hate. To say- <laughs> <laughs> I hate to say it because I've liked all, is that? I've liked the all the eyebrows make her look mannish. She's got a unibrow. I don't like know. Her, her forehead, like that that part of her face that's hurt this away kind of. Well, she has side like, but those are those are very similar to if I remember correctly, Jim Lee's eyebrows that they would put on her when she'd make. All right, and and see, maybe it's just the angle. I just need that camera over, you know, over but, to the. Uh, Jason, did you did you put up that picture of side uh, of uh, Psylocke yeah. or no? Oh, okay. I don't That's know. all the dark picture, but yeah, yeah. I just need a straight-on shot of her face to get a better idea. Um, I'm praying at this point is that the EX is a different head sculpt. Yeah, like an Asian one. They're like side. Asian here, yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the okay. one here. Slope dies. Like here's the real side lock. Like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what do you guys think? Let's move on to a good no, statue. No, no, no. Well, hey, hey, listen. I'm, I'm going to say sorry, something about that. Guess we, we, uh, we have seen some pictures of it better than that one. You know, it's, they're not ours, so we haven't used them and stuff like that. But look, in saying that, I think that there is a lot of OG flippers that like to inflate the value of their OG statues by, by like three, four times yeah. that are going to start getting a bit worried because a lot of this new stuff that's coming out blows this so-called OG amazing stuff that was absolutely crap out of the water, you know? So I'm sorry, guys. And you're going to see a lot of these OG ones going up under the $400 mark on eBay and that soon because no one's you think so? Them. The OG ones? Yep. I don't like the oh, old ones. The OG one? The, which one? The one that she has that samurai the samurai? Both of them where she's actually Asian. <laughs> I like the one where she's sitting on the. the no, I, I, to be honest, after that, that's I the mean, comic cat, Rodney. I like that yeah, one. I mean, if they go seriously, I, if they go cheaper, I'm buying one because this one doesn't look promising at all. And I, I'm actually lo- like looking at it now. There's oh man, there's no, something. I'll give you an example, PJ. Like if you go back three months ago, you couldn't get a Cyclops premium format. You know the one with the leather jacket. Couldn't get one yeah. for under nine hundred bucks, Australian, right? Yeah. And I saw okay. people paying up to a grand US for some of them. Okay. Right? Yeah. People are basically giving them away now at three hundred and fifty to four hundred bucks. Why? Because of XM. Because the new one, you've got your XM one coming out. You've got your sideshow new premium format one. The the and the the work and detail in them is ten times better than the old ones. Wait, sideshow is coming out with one? Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't see it, but I can understand like the. You've um, seen the the hints of it in the when they've done their X Men silhouettes. Oh, uh, okay, but um, the XM Studios is by far the best looking um Cyclops statue out there. I can understand that, but I mean, if you look at the OG uh, Psylocke, I mean that was a dope statue, and comparing her to this new guy statue, I don't know. <laughs> Well, that's just my opinion. I reckon that the new one's far superior than the old. I, I don't like the old mixed media ones and that. I think they degrade over time. 
Um, like, you know, I keep bringing it up all the time, but that Captain America OG is the biggest steaming pile of crap that I've ever seen. Ooh, I've not seen a, I've not seen a single one in person that doesn't have ball balls or like you know, the little like where the material it turns into a ball on the fabric, you know. So yeah, and people want to try yeah. and charge you one thousand two hundred bucks for it. You kidding me, man? Original Captain America PF. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, that you can understand, especially if you leave it out and you don't dust it. I mean, if you kept it in like behind like a glass case or something, or glass doors, I think it should be fine. But, um, but I don't know. There's really something is off about this Psylocke statue. It's like I really want to like it. I want to love it, but I just end up hating it by just looking at the face. Well, really early Mark more words, PJ. I guarantee when the better pictures come out. You're gonna change your tune. Okay. I mean, I hope so. I mean, I always wanted a Psylocke statue. Uh, as of right now. Wait, wait. What not... are you talking about? There's already a clear picture of her face. You showed it to yeah. me. Yeah. I can. It can't get any better. The eyes are not Asian. Yeah. Better angle. Yeah. I need a better angle. Yeah. Another like angle. Into the like, gods or something. There's no way. I, yeah. No. I, I have to agree with with Ryan on this one, man. I mean, th you can understand like uh, certain <laughs> angles, like they don't sh like completely show the face. This one looks is pretty straight on in the most part. I mean, maybe one the right side of her face is a little like, you know, that's off. Right. Because of the angle. I need. <laughs> Look, you I'll, need I'll the other one. Case in point, right? So the <laughs> red and gray hulks, okay, look fantastic. But if they had to put a picture out with them on an angle and you could see that neck seam the same yeah. as like Killer Croc, I guarantee people would have said biggest piece of shit they've ever seen. Which right, but we're uh, talking about uh, different ethnicity. We're not talking about uh, seams. Yeah, you know, no, we're I'm not talking saying, about how the character photo, doesn't look I'm right just at about all. How a photo can create a different perspective from an angle. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah, which yeah, is true. Yeah, but if the eyes are shaped like, you know, not an Asian person, I don't think a different angle is going to help. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have to agree with. Well, you'll get with your Ryan exclusive Asian eyes. There you go. That's what I was saying. They're probably, if they do an exclusive and she's actually Asian, I'll be like, oh my word. Because that's the only problem. That's the only part that's bad to me. And that would be a dumbass exclusive because that's the one everyone would want. No one would buy the regular one. Yeah, that's why I need to need to get that. Rodney right. kind of blew it up and it does kind of look like, like a man. That's why uh, yeah. I need that camera to move over and no. get a straighter shot. I think it's going to help. Uh, I think it will. I, I think no. it's. The, I, I, I it's mean, a man, man. He's a man, man. <laughs> it's not sound like that's a man, baby. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I'm I'm looking at it now. I'm I like I'm dissecting it. I'm looking from the neck up. The neck down is great, but yeah, it, yeah. It's not Asian, man. It is not Asian. Like absolutely well, not Asian. I'm not even talking about the Asian part. I need. I just need a straighter shot. I you just need. It. Yeah, and like I don't know if it's the cheat. I don't know what it is, but man, she looks like a man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she does. This one, I disagreed with the with the. There with she the, don't um, look like she don't with look the like mystique a man on that and, side. and whoever else. All right, this one. Ronnie. This one look like a man. Like Ronnie, that look guy. from look from the cover cover her body I'm and look from the neck at up. The face. I'm looking at the face. The right side of the picture, her face looks fine. The left side of her face is what's a little sus. <laughs> looks well, a the, little manly. The the part that's in the shadow is the part that's a little suspect. That's why I actually, need if, if, you know why her her costume actually goes all the way up to, <laughs> to <laughs> it cover. it, it, it <laughs> covers her 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 Adam's apple. So that's why. <laughs> We will yeah. see when they show some other pictures. All right, all right. So I'm with you guys. I'm with you guys. If I'm proven wrong, right. I think yeah, right. I hope you're right because I need a Psylocke in my in, I in love my Psylocke. collection. I love Psylocke. Psylocke and Rogue are the two my, one of two of my favorite uh, X Men. In eight months' time, we'll see it standing behind Ryan's head. <laughs> uh, I hope not. I if you do, I'm gonna like. <laughs> he's not gonna have a head on. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. It's gonna be gone. Yeah. <laughs> so lastly, we got on um, the Rogue Maquette, uh, which is interesting that they made Rogue a uh, Maquette and all the other ones a PF. So, um, is this just another reason to say and slap an extra hundred bucks on it? <laughs> <laughs> Could be, it does, it, but like it looked like it's something going on with the base, you know, like it's a bigger kind of. They, you know, look like she's ripping up something. It could be a sentinel. Who knows? But you, you reckon know, they might all tie together, like with the other ones that we've seen? That'd be pretty cool if they did. 
Yeah, I don't, you know, I don't think so. I mean, especially looking at the White Queen, um, Emma Frost. Um, I, I don't know. I don't think from what we've seen in the Rogue base, it just they don't look similar to me. Like it looks, and it, and especially when they showed the um the art print, it looked like she was in a swamp. You know. Was well, anyone so, yeah, looking to get Rogue Maquette? The Rogue so Maquette. I, yeah. I'll tell you what. Look, I'll be honest with I'm you, man. Yeah. From the '90s X Men cartoon, she was my hands down favorite. I don't know whether it was the voice or whatever, the the yeah. you know the sexy All of that. Cajun voice and that. But yeah, man, I, yeah. she she's a definite for me. I'd I risk it. Get, I'd <laughs> like to. Wouldn't make it. Would you say Rodney? I'd risk it. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, risk. Yeah, I get. Yeah, yeah, I'd risk it too, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like, just like Gambit. Oh, I can handle yeah, it. Yeah, it, it, it was the voice. Yeah, it was like the drain, 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 drain. Yeah. I remember the next one movies. Yeah, that's a day one PO for me. As long as it's not, you know, hellaciously uh, priced, I'll get Wait, that. Wait, uh, Rogue. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. that's the only thing with me too, Ryan. Um, if it's not. You know, if it's not around like the nine hundred dollar mark or something, then probably yeah. You know, if it's around the you know, seven fifty eight hundred, probably. Yeah. You know what's cool though is all the villains have similar bases. They're all like X, X Mansion or X. You know, X related. They said they were going to be similar. So like, you know, what uh, Emma's at the is that Cerebro Mystique is at like the entrance or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's so what I'm saying. Like I think they all tie together. Not. Which yeah, and cool. Juggernaut's I mean, foot. if you're going to collect the whole set, it'll look fantastic together. Uh, yeah, no and, this. and Juggernaut's foot's in Emma Emma Frost. Uh, in is it because you have no interest in the character, or you just don't want the statue? To be honest, I'm not even that into X Men except for Wolverine and stuff. Ooh, how dare you! No, I'm just like, straight up, man. Like, even Bruce there you like, go, Ryan. Oh, shots yeah. fired, brother. <laughs> like, like, yeah, that's cool. And then the other ones, I'm like, yeah, no, that's right. cool. Like, you already got like, one. You, and I was like, yeah, yeah, you didn't like Colossus. You thought he was pretty shit. Yeah. This one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <I guess. laughs> like all he does is just get covered in metal. Like, you know, Magneto could just screw him over. Like, no problem. No, well, Magneto could take the Wolverine too. Yeah, well, that's it. They're two big guns. Boom, gone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't I know mean, if Colossus' skin is magnetic, though. Because not all metal is magnetic. True. Yeah. True. I've only seen I mean, I'm getting like, real deep cuts here. But, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's not. It's uh, it, they're not ferrous metal. So like, I don't think he, I don't like, think Colossus is, is magnetic. Or like, no. Been... Yeah, Colossus well, is not ferrous. Is. I think I think he's stainless steel, right? Stainless steel is he? St- <laughs> not stainless steel. I don't think. No, I don't think they ever <laughs> said. It, they said it's like some organic metal. That's, I, think they, I don't think I've ever. Yeah. I don't think it's ever it's like not that. metal. Yeah, it's not well, vibranium, adamantium, or any of the other lovely metals that they list in the yeah, Marvel universe. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me ask you guys: which is you? All right. Out of all the reveals for the women of um, you know Sidetro that they came out with, all the women stat, the female statues, which one is your favorite one? Poison Ivy. Bro. Of the X Men, or really? Uh, like, in general, in general, like all Poison the Poison Ivy, like, Wonder Woman. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got me. You got me, Rodney. Wonder Woman. Yeah, Wonder Woman looks Wonder- dope. Yeah, Wonder Woman I looks think dope. Rogue for me, but I think Wonder Woman's pretty is in my top three. Yeah, I have to see how Rogue looks like from from the front, mm. Um, mm. and then we'll see how. She, I just hope they don't mess her up, please. You know, that's my last. That's my last hope. Were you kidding about Poison Ivy? You really like Poison Ivy the best? I do. Yeah, I've got the XPO day one. But which one, which head sculpt do you like better, the EX or the regular? Oh, the regular. Really? That's interesting. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, I don't like the the more vicious look. I like the more sultry, like, come here look. Sort of thing. With uh, the bodybuilder back? Hey, I, I don't like see it, man. I like, I like, I like, that okay. DC's, like DC's females are all well defined in their comics. You know, they're, 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 they're I, pretty muscular. You know, like, they don't. But Poison Ivy never has been, from what I remember, at least. Ah, uh, she is now. Oh, is she? Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. This cool. guy. This. <laughs> That's actually a girl, dude. <laughs> I know. <laughs> You've been spending too much time in Thailand, PJ. <laughs> oh, no. No, but I'm saying. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Ouch. 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 Damn, um, That's savage. But um, <laughs> I was going to say. No, nah, she's, probably, she's probably like my. my 
my favorite looking uh, female statue of this year or ever by Sideshow, to be honest. I mean, there's there's nothing wrong with her. <laughs> Except for no blood. <laughs> oh, my God, Ronnie. You and your damn blood. It's, it's just, you know what? It looks like she went and like killed her. Yeah, as soon as you said that, the PJ, I put the boots back on. the collection. Which female statue do I have to be fed up? <laughs> There's a few candidates. Yeah, that's for sure. Well, hey, yeah. here's a good discussion. Are we done through the uh, the topics yet? Yeah. What's yeah. your favorite female statue? We'll say we'll say quarter scale to make it a little bit easier. Uh, yeah. What are we talking about in your, in our collection or as of a... all time? I would just say of Byron. all time. Byron quarter the dead. <laughs> Siren. Yeah, from quarter the dead. Uh, the first the first one with the water. She's in the water. She's like half. Monster underneath the water and like yeah, a kind of mermaid more, type of thing. More, more huntress. Uh, That's the one I'm pissed. I wish I wish I was in this hobby early enough to have gotten the siren one. Yeah. Okay. All right. What about you, Thor? Darth Talon. Oh, the one right behind you. Yeah. Legit. Okay. Jason. Um, I'm gonna say. Look, I can't say of all. Doesn't have to be a collection. Day, but in my collection, I'd say the one that I think is probably the sexiest would be Huntress. I'm going to go with that black canary. Huntress. Oh, the one where she's doing the thing yeah, or whatever? Yeah. Yeah, that's dope. That's a sick Love that one, man. Statue. What about you? It's either between I have this weird soft spot for Zatanna. Every time I, I we do this show, yeah, and Zatanna, I've only done two of them, I keep looking at Zatanna going, man. She was so cool, like in the comics and in small, even Smallville. I thought she was cool, and you know, Smallville was, you know, it yeah, was what Ron, it was. Right? I'm with you too, man. I, I, I'm looking at Mazatana now, and I'm like, <laughs> she's. I don't talk, don't I almost bought. Watch it, then I'll review on it then. No, yeah, I it almost bought her. Smoky the eyes. eyes. Yeah, too smoky around the eyes. Yeah. What hey, you saying? Right, she's I, good or not? Yeah, I, look, she's good. We just said that um, with the face sculpt, they did that uh, too much eyeshadow around the eyes again. Okay. Oh, they did. They did the same thing with Power Girl, and you're like, mate, she doesn't. The wear one you've got eyeshadow. right back there. Sorry. That's a good. The one you have right back there, right? The Power Girl that you're referring to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a Tana or. Uh, I really liked Captain Marvel. I'm not even. A, I don't know. I really know. Like, I yeah, know yeah. basically very Dude, have you seen high level shit going about up, Captain like, Marvel. Like four hundred bucks. In price, what'd you say? Um, Captain Marvel's gone up nearly 400 bucks in price. Yeah, I got lucky, I got it from a comic book, so I only paid 15 over retail, yeah. and I was like, oh, Done. God, when it came out, I, I, that was one of the first um, Marvel pieces I picked up. I was actually at um Supernova the year before last, and okay. they actually had it there for on sale, and oh. I was like, Damn. I, what it was, I saw her from behind and went, no, nah, yeah. okay, I got it. Yeah. Here you go. Take the cash. <laughs> the Black Canary you mentioned too, that's another one, probably in my top five. And yeah, Huntress. Huntress, I don't know shit about Huntress. I know a little bit about Black Canary from like, I really liked her character in uh, Young Justice, mm -hmm. especially. So I felt like she had more screen time. And she was like the martial arts expert. I thought that was cool. She's like flipping super. Anyway. But yeah, I thought she's really cool. I really liked the the one you mentioned, the uh, Black Canary. Those are all really good. And Darth Talon looks dope, too. Yeah. PJ, I don't yeah. think I asked you. I'm sorry. Wait. Uh, he's got it. He's there. Go. He's been he's rubbing the tits right all through the show. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, well, I was going to say quarter scale only, right? Because I was going to pick uh, Poison Ivy from Prime 1. She is uh, one of the best looking female statues I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah she's very scale. sexy. Quarter mm -hmm. scale, yeah. Quarter yeah. Scale. Um, I mean, Red Sonia, Red Sonia, yeah, without a doubt. I mean, the second one, yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, I mean, if uh... <laughs> 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 nah, I know, I know. <laughs> nah, but Red Sonia. Is this not been the most of... savage show that we've done? We've just been tearing <laughs> each other all morning. <laughs> Get it it's all fun, out this man. week, because next week we, we got to put the cuffs on. <laughs> Oh yeah, actually, no, we, just, um, we can still aim at each other. What's happening next week? Yeah, we'll be yeah, cool no, next no. week. I'm gonna tell the end of the show. You know, we okay. got some special coming next week. So, did you get? You literally have me on eBay looking at Black Canary and. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, wait, they already sold out. 
I, I bet I can get her at that at that comic place I was telling uh, Thor about that Beyond Comics. They have all they don't sell statues. They just have a bunch of collects, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, my, my if you're looking for, I could ask my friend um, Connor. He he has like a, a whole bunch of like old statues too. Um, that Are they he sells. brand new? He said he had a brand Malcus. new. What's up? Did he say he had a Malgus, Darth Malgus? He's selling a Darth Malgus, but that one's used. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, he's yeah, got. He's got. He's sell, I think. I think he's selling for five hundred or, or something. Okay. Yeah, actually, he sold Jeff Morris uh Captain Marvel for for like four hundred fifty bucks. Nice. Does he own a store? Yeah. yeah, he owns a store. Yo, link me up with mostly, him after uh, afterwards. Yeah, he mostly sells on Instagram, but like you know, if I see someone looking for something, I'll send him to Connor, and Connor will always hook him up. You know, he's a good guy. He's hooked me up with a whole bunch of uh, statues and stuff. Well, lastly, for our last topic, uh, recently, this is about a distant size is Rodney's favorite subject. Oh, uh, mother. <laughs> Back to yes. us. Good. Can we, oh, oh, here we go. Hey, Guys, hey. whoever's in chat right now, can I just say something? Whoever's in chat right now, prepare to be. I'm so, Number one, I'm sorry. And number two, this is going to be a long conversation. What's up, Carla Rodriguez? She's on the chat. Carla, uh, we have Jeff. Jeff Morris, she, he's on. And Charles, what's up, Charles? Carosa? Carosa, yeah, he's on, he's hey, on the chat. Charles, what's up, what's man? Up, what's up, what's up? And uh, so XM recently <laughs> announced that they're going to be doing made-to-order edition sizes. And uh, they announced some of the edition. So, you know, I'm getting the XM all announced. It's going to be 270, which I was quite happy about. I was like, nice. So um, I think Moon Knight's going to be 270. And uh, most of the... Edition size is gonna be real. I don't know how on you some of your X Men pieces too, Ryan. I think they're like three hundred. I think Storm, Storm is, is four twenty, something like that. Nice number. So uh, what yeah, do you guys think? think? <laughs> so Ryan, what do you think about that man? Since you're getting the Storm, uh, yeah, it works the- for me, man. It means resale is yeah. easy. I've got yeah. like I think I've got seven. I mean, like this whole back shelf is mainly gonna be X M stuff, just because I like the sculpt and the paint. But uh, so you do yeah. plan on, <laughs> huh? Are you plan on you plan on no plan i'm trying i'm trying to collect for keeps i'm trying not to be an idiot but it's very hard to not be an idiot in this collect in this hobby right yeah. it's like, it's like, oh, it looks cool oh you know such no, and such you know, all together and you're like eh, shit you know uh-huh. well right. no you're, yeah. you're completely right with that right i mean you're just saying me and Andrew, you know i've seen six things i'm like oh yeah, yeah i want i want you no, you can't have it. You, you, know, you pick pick one or two, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so. uh-huh. Like, I like Storm. I think Storm looks awesome. Uh-huh. Cyclops looks right, good. Right. <laughs> I, like I, that. I don't like the crazy head on that yeah. one. When he's looking up top. Yeah, I don't I like it either. Oh, I love it. I don't think it looks bad, though. It's just not my preferred. Because if right, you get though. the second one, doesn't it come like with the first one? Drunk with power, dude. Yeah. <laughs> but if you yeah, get the second one. That, like what does, you were just saying, Ryan, you actually get an option of the two um, body sculpts and head sculpts, don't you? When you, when you well, I thought you, get, I thought you get both if you buy the second one, but that maybe that's not true anymore. I don't remember. Thor might know. I think Alex from Red Titan was saying they're actually two separate statues. Oh, for real? Okay. Yeah. With, the, with the Cyclops? Yeah, yeah, Cyclops. Yes, they are, yeah. yeah. I guess it'd be a lot more expensive because it's only like a $100 difference right now. So is the uh, Professor X, two different two yep. different statues. Yeah, I got that one. I'm kind of regret that one I may flip. Which one Which one you get in the hover well, chair? So, or, I, or I, got, <laughs> I got the Professor X without thinking, but then the more you think about it, you're like, do I really want a statue, pay $1,000 for a stat, or you know, 900 or whatever dollars for a statue of a guy in a wheelchair, you know? So you got the wheel, you got the wheelchair, not the hover chair. Yeah, the hover chair looked like it was going to take up too much room, and I want to get more female pieces. So I I looked at it and it looked like it was like at least a few inches uh, narrower, you know, like widthwise. Right. And I figured I could put like a Jean Grey or Emma Frost or something next to him. I don't know. I think if if I mean if your X Men I mean, collection, you know, you got to have Professor X, you know. But yeah, um, but do you? I mean, he doesn't really do a whole lot. He's just kind of like you know. Yeah, I know. But I mean, he's he's part of the stuff. I mean, if you're hardcore, you know, if not if, if it doesn't if it's not important to you too much to have it, then I guess it really doesn't matter. You know, if it was me, I I would want to have a Professor. X, the cool thing know? is the pose is very similar to your Mythos one, where he's staring at 
uh, at least with the wheelchair version where he's staring right. at uh, the at helmet. Magneto's helmet. That kind of adds, I think that adds a lot more depth to it. It tells so, the story. You know, you know, yeah, exactly. So, but the Iceman's the one I'm looking forward to the most in Mystique. Yeah, that one. That and Omega yeah, Red are good. And Omega Red, but I heard the Omega Red's not coming with the other hands that he's supposed to come with the yeah, game. That's not, I reckon yeah, that's score, the best be score you've got, though, the man is that XM Storm. I think that is going to be fantastic in person. Yeah, that one, that looks great. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm excited. Um, low ES, that, that works for me. That just means if in some weird chance that Sideshow beats it or another company that uh, that means I can flip it easier. And I'm not one of those guys who likes to flip for a profit. I like to flip just at most what I paid for shipping, you know? Yeah, I agree. I'll be a dick, but I wouldn't mind getting my, all my money back. Yeah, that's it. Look, I'm the same, Brian. Right? Um, when it comes to me selling stuff, I just want to get my money back, you know? Yeah. So I can then go, okay, I enjoyed it for that period of time, and now I can use that money towards purchasing another piece. You know, and that's the saying. problem with me buying the sideshow Darth Vader <laughs> format is I'm kind of fucked. Oh, you're <laughs> straight up. Yeah, you're screwed, I'm just straight up fucked. You're gonna, you're gonna get no, it's going like for like 350. I'm just like, fuck it, you know? I'll just go down with yeah. the ship with it, right? You know? it's like, fuck. Well, I mean, look at the edition size on that. I think 7, it's like 7,000. There was no exclusive. I was just like, what There's were no you exclusive. thinking? That statue. <laughs> What did you say? Yeah, size isn't what's hurting that Darth Vader statue. No, it's, yeah, it, it's it, a part of it, though. That it, means there's that the many people huge. who are going to be doing the same shit I am. It doesn't look good. Yeah. Right. I but, mean, the, but if it was lower ES and it was like that, we'd probably have a better time selling because there wouldn't be as many idiots like yeah. me making <laughs> the same mistake. Mm hmm. Exactly. Hey, I admit my uh, uh, yeah. With addition size of seven thousand, that means like seven thousand people. You know, it's just few, fewer people would want it. Yeah, would want it. Um, well, why I'm are they with you. Pay right? Retail for it when they can get a brand new one at retail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. a tan. still on their website. Mm. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Go ahead. Who's next? You know who's next. Man. I don't know why <laughs> I'm still talking about this. Freaking edition size. All right, all right. So I mm -hmm. understand why XM is doing it because if you're making a thousand statues or 999 and you're not able to get rid of all of them, yeah, that's going to start putting a dent in your business. And since they're not going to deal with the whole distribution thing and make it easier for other people to get them, the other choice is to drop down the numbers. Uh, me personally, it don't affect me much at all because. XM's kind of, I don't think about them because I refuse to pay the shipping charges for them. So I don't. What, what if Sideshow was doing it? What would you think? If they were doing the, the made to order edition size, what would you see, think? See, because, because it's easy to get from Sideshow, mm. it, it wouldn't affect me either. Okay. Like, okay. Like, I, and then Sideshow's got the retailers too. Like, you know, you've got. Like, as Ryan was saying, you know, most of the statues he gets is from his local comic shop that has a few collectibles, you know? So uh -huh. it, there's a lot of people, like me, when I got into this, the first, I didn't even know about Sideshow. I went down to a, a collectible store and uh -huh. bought um, a bunch of stuff from there. Uh -huh. And I was like, wow, look at this stuff. It's amazing. It's amazing. And then I started finding out about the company and doing a bit of research and stuff like that and into the different products. But yeah, basically, like I started off with Kota Bukia, then in the DC collectibles, and then Sideshow. And once I found Sideshow's website, I'm like, oh my God, look at all the stuff you can get, you know? And it's been a roller coaster ride ever since. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind the made to order route, um, but I look at it two ways. If I'm somebody new in the hobby <laughs> and I'm missing out on certain statues, then I can see where the made to order thing sucks because you get in and you miss out on statues that you would have wanted to get. So I can see it from that angle. But at the same time, I see why, why XM is doing it. Um, it doesn't bother it, like it doesn't bother me at all. I, I hate the ES argument. And that's mainly because I, I look at the whole, I don't, and everybody's gonna hate this. I don't care. I don't I look at these as statues, I don't call them collectibles because when I think of collectibles, I think of something like cards or Antics. or stamps or or well no actually things things that when you buy you go in thinking well down the road this is going to be worth this you mean like, like an investment like yeah, a cgc when I buy, yeah like, like, 
I yeah, and right. like with cards, because they were cheaper when people were, and the, or comic books back when they had their boom, people were buying comic books strictly because they thought down the road this is going to be worth a bunch of money. I don't look at statues that way I, at all. I know exactly what you're talking about, Rodney. You're talking about the 90s and the image. Yeah, and yeah and when stuff. image split out and when, all that, when everything, yeah, you, they would buy stuff that they, people had never read a comic book and were going in and buying boxes of comic books just because they were like um, predicting what they thought the future was going to be. I, Spawn I don't, did that because of the Spawn number one when that came out and then yeah. like a couple of well, months later you had to pay 90 did. bucks for it. Oh, well, yeah. I don't look at statues that way. For me, I think it would absolutely suck to spend the money that I spend on a statue just mm. because I'm thinking or hoping that somebody else is going to like it enough to mm. spend a whole bunch of money down the road. If I don't like it, I ain't getting it. So so the whole, you know, hope it's worth X amount of do dollars down the road, I don't look at it that way because I don't, I look at this as like entertainment. Like, well, well, what do you yeah. reckon, boys? Do you think that they've done this to try and curb the um, XM reseller market? Well, it's going to suck Definitely. for the XM reseller market. Yeah, especially when uh, when future Star Wars pieces come out that I want, you, you definitely got to pre-order it now. You know what I mean? Because um, if you wait, you're going to be in trouble. You know. Well, I don't get the I don't get the impression in that the Star Wars XM pieces are really selling that well. Do you? Well, no, they're not. No, being, no, no. But still, either way. You know, it's 270 edition size. Because the same thing, I, you know, I was talking to Alex earlier about it. the same thing happened with this. Um, when people, yeah. when they showed it before pre order, you know, people were, oh, you know, it looked like he's playing baseball and all this other crap. Then it comes out and everybody loses their freaking mind. And I, I told him my prediction with that mall is going to be the same thing. When mall comes out and people get it in hand, he doesn't think so. Uh, right. But I do. I think when, when that go, comes out and um, people see it, you know, the movement, the flow and everything, you know, as far as that one particular piece, I'm not talking about, but you know, people's, the, the Luke has gotten raised. See, I, I, I feel like know. XM gets the benefit of the doubt more than a <clears throat> high studio would. No, I agree with that. So, but, so I don't think, I, I don't. You got a better track record. I hear you. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think, I don't, I don't think that and the mall thing are compatible. I don't, I mean, just the fact that maybe it ain't selling it like they thought it would sell. And the same thing happened this. As soon as these people started to get this in hand, everybody hopped on the computer and ordered it. I love Dark Maul. I don't like that statue. No, that's, because that's, the that's face, fair. Because that's the fair. face is crowded. And you, you pointed out problems with the saber. Right. I, I you know. I'm talking about the width, the width of the saber. Yeah, the saber is too. That's not, that's not make or break for me. The, my biggest problem with that statue it is you don't I feel like you're not gonna see much of his face because of the hood. Exactly. That's why I don't so I don't I feel like and I think I said this to you guys before in the Facebook group, and this is only my opinion. I, I really like Dark Dark uh, Darth Maul, but I feel like he's gonna be hard to uh hard to display because of that. I feel like his face is crowded. Yeah. I don't crap right. you mean like I just feel like it's hidden. Maybe well, you're saying the same thing. Okay, okay. You're saying the same thing, just in a different direction angle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, that's the only reason. So I think I might get, and that's the problem with getting the sideshow one is it's like you said, it's it's going to be, you can just barely fit in the best. I think you were telling me because that's he's holding no, the saber it, diagonally. It fits, it fits fine. No, it fits, I just it fits, I just it fits perfectly him. in the best. I, yeah. I had okay. both of them in there, and that's why it was tight. The only reason. Wait, him and this one? Yeah, I had both of them in there, but it looked it looked cool though when they were. Wait, in you there. said you, you had the Darth Maul PF and yes, this sir. Darth yeah, Maul. Yeah, but that's not that's Vader. not a best. That's, that's a Pax. I moved him. I had Vader kind of tilt like the, his saber was pointing more back, but right. Maul was sitting right here, and it, it looked as if they were both looking at the same target. And you told me that was a Kellex, right? Yeah, this is a Kellex. Yeah, this oh, is a okay. I thought it was so a how, what is yeah. the uh, what's the width of it? Twenty six wide, twenty six tall. What about depth? Depths we're talking about maybe fourteen inches, fifteen. So inches. it's very similar to a best. It sounds like what you're very saying. Very similar. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, well, that's cool. Yeah, so I mean, I would recommend. I would recommend. You know, if you don't like the XM, I would highly recommend the, uh, the PF. Because, but I will say this: Look, I haven't seen it in person. The 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 portrait on that PF looks more like Ray Park than to me the XM ones, as far as in the face. I think so too. Yeah, I mean, it, I it's. Think the, I think the face one on the one that you're talking about, the XM one, 
It's more like comic bookish. Right. It, I mean, it's dark mall. It's dark, but that one, the PF one, yeah. that's the great part. I mean, it, it's, I agree. it ain't even a question, you know. I agree, yeah. <laughs> PJ, what do you think about the uh, the made to order edition size, man? I love it. I l absolutely love it. I understand where you're coming from uh, in, in terms of like what Ronnie was saying that he's. He, I think most of us in the in the biz, in the in the collectible world is buying it to to keep it as collectibles. We're not looking to flip it. Most of us aren't. Yeah. Um, it's just too much. It's just too expensive of a of a statue. Or, or, or of, a, of an item to go buy six seven hundred dollars hoping to flip it for like a couple hundred dollars more i mean what what statue that has that has recently been recently been released that has been has sold for more than twice as much of the value batman None. versus bane diorama from on Studio. okay you're uh, damn batman. No, I'm <laughs> you keep referring to that batman versus bane diorama no, but like, okay, but that was released last year, right? Yeah, and look, PJ, the only reason, the only reason um, it's it's oh. gone up in value so much is because it was an extremely limited run. They only did 400. Like, uh, okay. I think the... Edition size. Yeah, I think the Superman, uh, the Superman versus Doomsday one was either eight or a thousand. I'm not sure. Eight, a hundred yeah. or a thousand. Yeah. But yeah, it yeah. was only 400 worldwide for the Batman versus Bane. Yeah. So yeah. with with that being said, um, I feel that not like there is there's no room to to make a, a profitable amount of money in the in statues. And then um, look on the other side the, of it, PJ, of what you're saying too. Think about how many times you've pre-ordered something because you needed to get it straight away and stuff like that, only to see mm -hmm. it like 30, 40 percent off free global shipping like six months later. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it's just it's, it's it's a shame. Well, not a sh I guess I don't know. Um, but addition, it, it's all it's all like an economy, all econ economy system. Like everything, everything needs each other to 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 survive. If you don't need, if you don't have that, it's just gonna turn into a big huge bubble and burst. And every all your statues that you have bought is just not gonna be worth anything. I.e., I'm sorry to 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 use your Vader as an example. I mean that Vader. If you pay five hundred dollars plus the shipping, which is like five fifty, now you're selling for three fifty or trying to sell for three fifty. Sometimes people are are desperate; they'll go down to two fifty. I mean, none of us want to lose that amount of money. Plus, especially when we like for me, I have a wife, and if I'm selling a statue that's like not like that's worth five hundred fifty dollars when I first bought it, and I'm selling for like two hundred dollars. She's gonna say, "Why are you buying it?" As opposed to if I buy like a Hot Toys or a, a figure that's worth like a hundred bucks, you know, and then I lose fifty dollars, it's not gonna hurt gonna as much. It's not gonna hurt as much as selling a statue for like you buy for eight hundred dollars, which is the average price for a statue now, and then selling for half the price. Um. It's just one. Yes, we all love to collect. Uh, there's no edition size. I, I don't know how how the how the whole economy econ like like ecosystem of statue collecting is going to be. Well, those feel being collectibles. It'll just be just like things that everyone can basically get. It's the feel. It's all perspective. Like I get where Ron is coming from, and it's actually interesting how he looked at it as statues, not collectibles. Is that right, Rodney? I don't want to get it wrong, man. Yeah, yeah. I I don't. I I I don't like calling them collectibles because I don't look at them as that. Three D art that I just love looking at. It's yeah, look, entertainment for me. That, that you collect. That you, co that you collect. <laughs> because, okay, that I buy. <laughs> <laughs> I, that you collect. Every, yeah, but I don't look at it as a collectible. So fine. You buy a car. You buy a house. Everything. You don't collect houses. You collect. Statues. Now, if I had had millions in the bank, maybe I'm gonna collect houses. But no, then I you buy are a them for the of houses. Of then I, I, <laughs> I buy them for the entertainment of. Them. I don't like calling them collectibles. Well, for enough. me, it's it's a bonus. You know what I mean? I, if, yeah, it's if, a if, perk, I, if, I, if I see something that I like, I'm gonna get it. You know what I mean? But it does make me feel good when they announce, oh, it's gonna be 270 yeah. malls. I'm like, oh, I like that. I mean, but it's not a deal breaker. I'm not saying yeah. that I'm gonna yeah, get it. You know. 
Um, you know, like it makes me like the other day I was looking on eBay and somebody selling talent for thirty eight hundred bucks. I was like, really? You know, I'm not yeah. gonna sell it. You know, but it just yeah. makes you feel good that you got something. Yeah. That, Revered and people, you know what I mean. But I mean, I'm not going to. That people them. want that. that people, how many people do that? You reckon that they get? They see a price, something. They go, you know what? Stuff it. I'm going to put it on eBay. If someone's going to be stupid enough to pay that money, I'll right, give right, it to right. them. Yeah. So. Yeah, but I mean, it's it just. I mean, for me, it's just people. Someone that buys art, like you know, and then there is like. You know, a, a very rare art that you appreciate more because of its rarity. You know, like the Mona Lisa, like we appreciate more because not only because it, it's a beautiful piece, a beautiful artwork, but it's just one of a kind. People have made pictures of it, right? They're not painted by, but the actual, you know what I'm saying? Even though, I, like, I, I, I definitely get you get what you're saying. I just look at it all different. I I don't like I don't worry about what other people think about what I get because I'm the one that got to pay for it. So I better like it. Like I, I yeah. never I, I never understand. I never understand when people go into Facebook groups and they're like, "All right, I got this or this. Which one should I buy?" You're the one that has oh, to so look dumb. At it. You're yeah. the one that has to I look really at it every day. Choose wife and marry too. Like Jesus. Yeah, it's yeah. like. So, so, and I, you know, I just, I get what y'all are saying. And for me, when I think about, all right, if something happened and I had to sell it, it's a perk, it, but right, it's, but exactly. it's, but it, but it's not, it doesn't at all come into no. my decision making no, about no. whether I'm going to get it. No, no. And, and so like when the ES thing, when that starts, like, I'm kind of unemotional about it now because it's like, I'm, I'm I'm tired, I'm tired of talking about it. It doesn't matter to me. I know it matters to a lot of people. It's just I, I look at it different. Just something. Uh, it's just something cool, man. Just to show your mates. Like when when. Uh, well, by the way, Jason just had to pop out for a second, so I'm I'm in charge. Um, but like, uh, <laughs> yo, start touching all the statues. Thank, yeah, wait, thank no, God. I'll touch turn them the specs, man. Turn them all. Uh, turn them all. One eighty. Adrian, we'd rather have you in charge. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, so like when, when I have mates coming over, it's back. when I have mates coming over and they come in the man cave usually to check out the statues, nothing is cooler than saying, you know, this statue, you know, the ES, this is out of like, you know, this amount, like it's one of this. Yeah, yeah. This adds to exactly. the statue, I guess. And when you're looking at collectibles and anything, really, that's what you really look at is like, how many more of this in the world is there? Particularly when you might say, oh, can I buy one? No, no. it's sold out. Can't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch. Yeah, I mean, Don't look too hard. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just one of those things. Is like, you know, it just it just feels good to to have something. I mean, like, not I'm saying, oh, you don't like someone else doesn't have, mm. but it's just something unique mm. that you spent like five hundred to twelve hundred dollars of your money to pick up this statue and then say, hey, you know, this is something special. This is like handmade, hand painted with the certificate of authenticity. One out of like five hundred. Now, if Michael Jordan is, uh, is, is like signing everyone's freaking autographs, like it doesn't make your, you know, your his autograph to you special, right? I don't know. So, uh, okay, but I think there's, <laughs> I think there's a point to be made. Like, I got the uh, OG, or it's probably not OG, so I'm using the wrong term. The the Aquaman, right? The one that's mm -hmm. like the, the recent one, right? The one with yeah. the waves and the yeah. octopus on the base, mm -hmm. you know, the unwieldy one. The one the same one you've got. I really like Aquaman. I, I loved Aquaman when New 52 came in. Before that, I couldn't give two shits. Minus like mm -hmm. the Justice League with the spear and all that shit, right? Mm -hmm. But the, uh, I'm just kind of giving background. But if that one was one, and I think that, I don't remember what the ES was, but I think it was out of 2000. Does that sound for the exclusive? Yeah. And 4,000 uh, for the regular check one? For you. Oh, it's all good, dude. Don't <laughs> watch him break <laughs> <laughs> Let me go get it. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 you worked out earlier today. That thing's like 30 pounds. <laughs> Lifting that up without taking the top off. <laughs> One thousand, Adrian, you're in the danger zone. If he falls, Adrian, he's going right on you. 1,500. Oh, okay. Anyway, if that was 3,000, I still would have gotten it. <laughs> yeah, of course. Same with if Colossus. Somebody... For my favorite character, so I think I agree with Rodney on certain characters. It wouldn't okay. matter. Well, let me ask you this. Now, if there's no edition size, 
Yeah, that too. Um, what, we freeze up? Yep, yeah, AJ's frozen. Okay. So, Wait, we'll so, oh, all right. So let me, let me. Yeah. Don't okay, Trump's back. internet at its I finest. I know where PJ's going. So, and I hate this word too, but my grail piece is the Blitzway Game of Death statue. It has mm. no number on it. Blitzway I, Game of Death, you said? Yeah, the Blitzway mm. Game of Death yeah, statue. Up you're no about. number on it. Mm. I could not care less how many were made of oh, it. I, okay. I, I don't yeah, care. Saying that, Rodney, like well, they don't put a, an edition size on their products, but then if you go to their website, it says how many they've, they've made. Yeah. I just don't know. Uh, but how yeah. do you keep track of that when it's not on the statue? <laughs> well, well, then you you still know how many were made. You just don't know what number yeah. you had. Yeah. Well, let me let me let me, let, let me let me let me put it this way: the the, the price of it is like what two thousand dollars. How much was the original price for it? Original price was like five fifty six hundred dollars, oh. and it's two thousand dollars now. Something like that. Well. I think you can see it on eBay for like 18, 16 to 18. That's okay, a quarter scale that, statue? Yeah. But, one third, one third, yeah. One yeah, third. but still, why is it so much if there's no addition size? Let's just say, why did appreciate appreciate that? Why even pay $1,800 for that statue if there's no addition size, knowing the fact, hey, there might be more out there. Why not pay the 500 well, I didn't pay eighteen. I I paid the price of a throne, <laughs> a Thanos on throne. For okay, it. which is but, which is twelve hundred dollars. So you yeah. paid seven hundred dollars more mm -hmm. on a statue with no addition size that you could possibly maybe find it more out there for the same price, right? If there's no addition yeah. size. But I wasn't. Or I even worse, Blitzwing would just go. We're going to produce another two thousand. <clears throat> Hey, yeah. if they would have done that, I would have. If they would have done that for five or six hundred, I would have bought one for five or six hundred. Hey, hey, Rodney, can I ask you a question? How, yeah. how many how many stashes do you own? Oh gosh, there's no judgment here either. I'm just curious. Um, it could be ballpark. Be different scale, probably about twenty. Okay, and how many have you bought and sold, or how many have you sold? None. None. Okay. Uh, See, I uh, think your I think your tune might change a little bit, or would change. And I'm not saying it sounds like you're a very smart buyer too, which I'm trying to be that. It's not going very uh, yeah, well, yeah. but I'm trying yeah, to be yeah. that. But the uh, but I I think your tune might change if you ever get to the point where you need to sell statues because that's a right, shitty place. Yeah, and unless there is an emergency, I I that will I hope that never happens. I'm and I'll tell I tell him all the time. I'm definitely afraid of selling a statue. I don't want to ever be in that situation. And that's because, smart that you're doing it the way you are, because it sounds like you're being picky, and that's something yeah. I... Hey, Ryan, if you, if you want to, I, I to be a smart idea. collector, stop buying Marvel and buy more DC. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would hate that I'm idea. I'm still looking at the Zatanna. I have it open right now. I'm in the monitor. I hate the idea of selling a statue to somebody and, the, and me shipping it off, and they tell me, this is broke or that's broken. broken. Yeah. How do you yeah. deal with that? So I, I am definitely afraid of getting into that and then having being mm -hmm. scared. So so no, I, I am picky with what I buy. I don't yeah. buy it unless I think I love it. So yeah. Well look, yeah. in saying that I've 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 um I, I was just like Ryan when I started out, you know, I had a big wad of cash and basically anything that came up for sale in the local area, I went out and yeah, you know. Um, like, I'm not doing that. Uh, but we came with me one day. And we up, like, 10 <laughs> in a day. I will get you. No, we picked up ten statues in a day. You know, now of them ten, I've got six of them left. I've sold like four of them, so I've sold probably about fifteen, twenty statues while I've been collecting. But I haven't had that problem once where I've sent anything and it's been broken or had any problems with scammers and stuff like that. In saying that. I tend to like if, if if they're in New South Wales, like locally, like maybe even an hour's driveway, I'll drive it out to them and hand it to them and say, "Open the box, make sure everything's okay, you're happy," you know. Um, other than that, mainly through Gumtree or Facebook. So, and it's Facebook community, so you're dealing with other collectors. And when you're dealing with other collectors, and as long as you're up front, man, you know, like if, you, if there's a little chip or something like that, you just say, "Look, man, there's a chip at the back of the statue. You can't see it when it's displayed, but." Here's a picture of it, you know. You just be upfront yeah. and honest, and you'd be sweet. I mean, it's I'm, only the blokes like Sean Sanders, and and for every bloke like him, there's uh, like yeah. ten that are decent. 
Yeah, I've, I've only I've only actually had one time when I've even entertained the idea of selling a mm. statue. And that was just because I was thinking about getting rid of Bane to get Two Face, the prime one Two Face. Yeah. Other than that, no, I, I is that the one third one? The the prime one Two Face is one third, yeah. It's, not, it's from Arkham, right? Yeah, from my Arkham yeah, Knight. Was dope. I saw it the other day because you were yeah. talking about it in our group. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for for me, like Thanos and the throne, like I would be livid to try and sell this fucking statue because um, it's just one of those things. Like there's there was a lot of QC issues, especially with shipping and, yeah. and oh, everything. Yeah. If I'd I ever like, pick I mean, up only, come try yeah, no, see, exactly. Um, but I'm not looking to sell them anytime at all. Do you have the no, I missed out on the EX. You're 100 percent right. That really depends on the statue, you know. Like for example, I wouldn't sell to anyone bar someone that came here and picked up um, Hellboy, you know, because mm. it was one of Sideshow's original statues, and the packaging was shit ass. Yeah. Now yeah. I, I bought it from a guy in, in England, and mm. when it came to me, it was in horrible condition, you know, and it was mm. in good condition before he sent it, but like. The top knot at the back had snapped off. Um, the the is this um, the movie one that you have to the left of Adrian? Well, it may be to the right, depending on the one next to Adrian's face. Sorry. I'm... Yes. Yeah. 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 Up there. Yeah. Okay. The movie one. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, well, what do you think, Jason, of edition size and Adrian? Since I went, Thor, did we hit you up with the uh, edition size already? Yeah, I talked about it already. All right. Oh, Jason, what did you think? Go, I already said it's a good with your mates come over. It's like that thing that makes it more unique, like some of us agreed on. But really, it's like what you want to look at. You want it more like, as Ronnie's like looking at as more of a statue or something he likes to stare and enjoy, or you want to uh -huh. collect it with some value and stuff. It's like a coin, you know, when the mint rare coin you know, adds more value when it's rare and it's not made anymore to a normal coin that's just new and keeps coming back and mm. forth, you know, and stuff yeah. like that. So it's just how it's all perspective. Everyone changed. You will never find. I reckon this discussion of middle ground, you know, everyone's just going to have like either the pro yeah. or against, you know, con. So, yeah. And look, as PJ said, it really depends on the character. I mean, yeah. like, if you make 4,000 Batman, they're going to sell. You know what I mean? If you make 4,000 Aquaman, you're probably going to be sitting on 2,000 of them. You know what I mean? So, is, anyone, is anyone a huge Batman fan here? <laughs> Got one. Yeah. What yeah, do you think of all the bad men? Do you have so how do you yeah, that's an interesting question? And you know, if we're trying to cut this short show, I understand I can save this that's for right. next week, but the uh like how do you guys organize like what's Adrian's and what's Jason's? <laughs> oh man, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, what's Adrian's thinking, like, just how like, how like, it's all his he no, says, says, says his shit all the time. He says oh, his crap all the Oh, it's no, bullshit, like, example, right? Um the Batman versus Bane's he is. Yep. Um, the World of Warcraft statues that he is. Yep, the cool. Darth Vader mythos is he is. Yep. Um, good choice. Good choice. choice. Yeah, <laughs> and, and some of them are my wife's. Like uh, the Red Sonya. Um, Adrian statues. Red Sonya, uh, She-Hulk, stuff like that. Um, yeah. the which, which Red Sonya? Bowen, the Bowen um, Invisible Girl exclusive oh, wow. I've got. You know, They're all the wives. You know, like, but yeah. uh, most of the small stuff and most of the DC stuff's mine. Usually, if it's Batman, it's mine. That's that's. The yeah, hey guys, yeah. Can, can, can I, hey guys, can you just uh, uh, address the chat real quick? Um, it says uh, Jeff Delaney says I think it's fair to sell a statue as its current fair market value. Sometimes uh, that's above retail, and sometimes is below. Yeah, well, uh, Carla Ro Carla Rodriguez says nice to own no matter what. Being rare just makes it better. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see what else it says. Dave Rose says it's the fear of the unknown because hey. once you box it up, it's out of your control. I guess he's uh, referring to packaging your statues. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Chris Michael, the Batman statue collector, is in the chat. He says Prime Man, Prime One Two Face is worth it. So that's uh, comments directed to you, oh, um, Ronnie. Uh, let's see. Okay. I think that's I caught up with all the, everyone in chat saying something. Um, well, right, like, so, uh, yeah, one Jason, thing I wanted to mention about size. sizes too, right? So I've got a lot that are, you know, 3,000, 5,000, you know, stuff like that. But like the one that's got the lowest DS is probably the um, Captain America half scale I've got there. It's only 20 of them. 
You know, they I made 40 um, with the non-metallic shield, but the ones that come with the aluminium shield are only 20 mm. off. You know, so... Yeah. Who, made, who makes that? Uh, no, that's uh, Hallamore. Oh, fan art? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, but you know what? Just just real quick, and this is the only thing I'm going to say uh, as far as edition size, and uh, I'm done with the conversation. But I feel that edition size kind of like if there's no edition size, you, you're not a collector. You're a consumer. And then when there is edition size, you are a collector. And I feel like we're a bunch of collectors here who collect the statues with edition size. If there's Good no point, edition size, I just feel like you're, you're be just become a consumer. And what makes it is just that it becomes a, like a, like a toy or a figure that you can just go to a local store and pick up. Well, I don't know. I don't I've got a question all. for you, it just for you, all right? All if you anyway. own one of these <laughs> collectibles, for all consumers. If, you, if, if you own one of these collectibles, right, mm -hmm. and you see a picture of someone who owns the same collectible and it's broken, smashed, or damaged, how do you feel? <laughs> Is that for How Peter? do I feel? Wait, is this for me? Wait, what's the question again? If you have a collector, <laughs> like you, you've got a collectible that you love, and it's got yeah. it's, it's a limited edition, you know, you've got you, you got your number on it, and mm -hmm. then you see people putting up pictures of the same collectible that they own, and it's smashed or broken or damaged. <laughs> how do you feel? <laughs> how do like, I, 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 feel, I feel? I feel bad for those guys. Bullshit! I don't believe it. Highlander, there can be only one. <laughs> no, 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 seriously. All right, so here's, I'll give you the perfect example. Thanos and the throne. I saw so many people with broken Thanos and the throne. It hurts. It really, like, for me to see that, it's what? because, not, no, seriously, because, well, they're getting their replacement parts. I can see parts. the tears in your eyes, PJ. No, but no, I, I'm being, I'm being serious. Like, seriously, um, they're going to get the replacement parts, obviously, from Sideshow. But just to see that, as a collector, you feel for them. Because I, I'm a collector, right? If I see, like, Ronnie or or, 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 or Thor open up their their statue and it's broken, it hurts me. Especially when I see pictures of, thing, of like, other people with broken statues. I don't want that for anybody. I'm a collector. I'm in this collecting community. I don't, I don't wish... A, a, a broken statue upon anyone so, that's just not me that's wrong that's wrong to actually even think about for anyone so, to think of it like that then because then you're you're an asshole for thinking of someone to who wants like a statue to be broken so so to um, piggyback off of that though because yeah. I, then are are you exaggerating the importance of of the rarity a little bit too much then Hey, no, I'm not because 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 all the time when you see the rarity is that important. <laughs> if the rarity is that important, wouldn't you be like, yes, that's one less? No. See that you're you're comparing apples to oranges. You're comparing of wishing upon people to break their statues as opposed to <laughs> no, 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 I'm not saying you wish it happened. But, but like you're making it sound like as if like oh yes another broken statue makes my statue even more rare. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> so, <laughs> well, okay, I, I think you're missing the point. What I mean is, so using well, I, I, think example, so, I think it's the way you guys. I think it's the. think it's the way you guys worded it. Like you guys were laughing and then saying that like if some if I saw someone with a broken statue, I'll be laughing and and you know that's don't don't. Don't put me in that situation. Oh, don't no, put no, no. I wasn't putting it. I was saying it's collectors in general. You know what I mean? So, for example, yeah. you've got, say, Thanos on throne. Now, I'm, I'm not up on the edition size number, but say there was, like, say, 1,500. Okay. And you bought it. Yours has come in oh. perfect, fine. You're looking at it. You're marveling at it and that. And then you see, like, 600 posts of people that have got theirs, and they're broken. Yeah. You know, and and I'm I told is, you. What I'm saying is whether it's not being an arsehole or anything like that, Yours is now increased in value because no, there's no longer 2,000. There's only 1,500. No. Well, you're thinking – well, see, the thing is Thanos and the Throne is a really bad example. Is because they get re their replacements, right? They get some, the replacements first. Some of them will get replaced. Some of them, you can, they just give you back your money. But, yeah. Listen, I, I'm I, – it's that you're at you're you're comparing as opposed to someone missing out on the statue as opposed to someone breaking their statue. 
I, I wouldn't, I'm not the type of person that like, oh yes, someone broke their statue. My thing is rare. No, that's not, that's not how I roll, man. You know, I, I, I just, I just so think we cool, exaggerate man. the whole. It, it's you know rare. what the worst part is about you know, this? Us laughing and that. Like, it's making out like where these people that sit back and laugh at people when they get the breakfast. <laughs> yeah, we're not. Yeah, just, just case in point, guys, we're not. But what I'm trying to say is we all know a collector that does. Yeah. <laughs> what? That does get happy when they see someone's like shit that. broken and know that they've got one less. I just find it funny just the thought of someone doing that. It's just funny to me. Mm. I don't know why. Wait, wait, wait. So you, you deem a collector being a collector if they actually are happy if someone broke their statue? You, you don't think there are people that do that, DJ? I, I mean, I if, if, I if, if they are, then I'm sorry. Then you're an I would asshole. Bet anything. There are people that, they are, but uh, I would bet uh, money. Uh, Hey, uh, BJ, I mean, come I, on. I, you know there's no assholes in this hobby. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but I'm just saying, coming from me, if if you missed out on, if you missed out on uh, on Thanos in the throne or a statue, that will just give you drive to be like whatever statue you see, and you want it, you you pick it up, right? You, there's no you, it, it drives you to make that decision quickly as opposed to yeah i'll wait for it ah, i'll wait for it to go down on sale ah okay all right I'll, you know um but it's just it's just one of those things is that i don't know okay whoever wishes upon broken statues i no, i'm sorry right, but you, you, it, it's it's you, you you're right it's like, i don't it's like, i don't it's, like it's just it's just one of those things that like, like statue breaks yeah. <laughs> it's like, like, well i mean like like jason said i'm sure there are people who are like that but i uh man I've, and you know man, who this, they are this, this, the people yeah. that, your new statue shit because i've got the old version and, of it and to be honest <laughs> And this is what this is why I, I you know I, I had mentioned to you guys I think that's why I'm 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 slowly moving back away from collecting statues just because of the toxicity of of that of people of someone in the in in the back of their mind wanting like you to, to wish your statue to break come on man not that that's good. not the community I want to join to sign up for and that's why PJ's in the collector too that's what we're all about <laughs> yeah. But to go back to your comment about your, you're not a collector if you care if you don't care about yes you're a consumer. I think that's totally untrue. All right, well, well, you're, you're collecting. Well, well you're collect. The, the idea is, you know, if you if I have twenty statues, whether I, you know, whether the yes was low or high, it's still my collection, right? I mean, collection I think is, you know, I guess I guess you could say subjective, but. Well, it's really definitive, right? If oh, you... look, we, we've had that discussion many times, like publicly and privately between us, and we've all come to the conclusion that, mate, if you have something that you look at and it gives you joy, you're a collector. Whether it's got an ES of a million totally... or an ES of two, it doesn't matter. Yeah. No, I agree. That's that's kind of what I was attempting to get to, but I yes. can't use the word collector. All right, all right. Thank God. Someone in the freaking chat says, Dave Rose, I totally agree. I love my people in the community and my heart drops when I see photos of pieces that are, that arrive broken. Totally Thank you. Agree. Totally agree. But when you see some dumbass put something that's way too heavy on a detail, it's kind of like, I mean, I don't know, happy, but I'm just kind of like dumbass. Yeah, I but know, I, so. hey, man, but you know what? We were all new newbies at some point. I hope that guy wasn't a newbie and decided to put a, a, a Thanos in the throne on top of a, 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 a Detoff or a Besta. But um, yeah, I mean, hey, listen, everyone's you know subjective, and I'm glad that we have this conversation. Yeah. It's, just, it's just one of those things, you know, kind of spices up the chat instead of like, hey, I agree with whatever you say about the statue. It looks the philosophy of collecting. <laughs> Can we give Ryan a nickname, yeah. Savage? No, well, that's like, um, look, Charles Carose has said a good comment in the chat too. He said, anyone who takes a pic of someone, who sees a pic of someone's collection on the floor after a shelf breaks and their nuts don't cringe aren't human. I mean, like, I think that all of us, I don't think anyone went, ah, ha, ha, when they saw that picture of Marvel, uh, the Ghost Rider kills yeah. a Marvel universe when that shelf collapsed there. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, my heart, well, my heart, broke for that like i'm like well first of all i was like thank god the ghost the, the ghost rider survived that's all that rodney but, cared about 
but everything else, I was sure. like, damn. Man. <laughs> Ghost yeah, Rider is a good guy. <laughs> we're all collectors. I mean, I don't know. For me, edition size, I feel like it matters. It, it just, I don't know, like it's not like a definitive thing that makes you makes or breaks you collecting, but it adds that little like that little thing to keep going to, in collecting whatever like you're collecting, right? For, for me. I mean, that's just for me. That's for me. I'm I'm speaking for myself. I'm not speaking for everyone. No, you got a point. I'm speaking. You got a point. Well, look, look, y'all. We got to we got to move on. You know, this, this it's been a good. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this it was is. So, so <laughs> was thinking way to the whole guy wrong. <laughs> so, yes. Hey guys, whoever's in the chat, it trust me. This has been going on for the whole week. So leading up to for us <laughs> talking, it, it, this we, we love each other still. There's no there's no hard feelings. This, this is just, gonna be a no. good one too because uh, oh, no. <laughs> no. No. if I know where this is going. So so next Woo! week uh the equalizer two is coming out. Oh, oh man, here we go. And, well let's Ryan. Have a look at the trial, shall we? Uh, please be my guest. <laughs> <laughs> Samuel, lift off. <laughs> what? Get the man in our <laughs> Make sure she gets in her apartment, okay? <laughs> How you doing? I'm the driver you called to take home your girlfriend. Not a girlfriend, man. Oh, credit card was invalid. Give yourself a nice tip, huh? I heard about these. I've never seen one before. Yeah, well, now you have. You're not going to ask me if you got home okay? Okay. I'm going to need anything you might have used to record what you did here tonight. Her name is Amy. Give me your left hand. You ever see Star Trek? Very good. Five stars for Amy. Hey, you should let somebody else do this. Like who? Anybody. You're right. I guess anybody could do it, but nobody does, Miles. It's great you're helping all these random people. Stay off the radar. They killed my friend. So I'm going to kill each and every one of them. The only disappointment is that I only get to do it once. It's a mistake to go to war with them. They're highly trained. They're going to war with me. Look at you. Your father, your mommy just didn't tell you. I punish the guilty. If you're lucky, I'll give you the opportunity to do the right thing. This ain't one of those times. Ah, call 911. Who are you, Jackie Chan? <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, well. <laughs> You're like, who are you? Your so, father, your mother didn't tell you. So, disclaimer, I just saw Equalizer 1 today. Today, I just watched it. And, uh, Shameful but, thing. But it is a shameful yeah. thing. Right. So, we've been having this discussion uh, amongst ourselves all week. Um, if these individuals were real, uh, who would you trust with your life? Uh, uh, the Baba Yeager, John Wick? Or the equalizer. Can we just go back to AS now? Uh, no, 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 um, I have a number of reasons why. <laughs> One hand, you know, John Wick, he's great with the gun. Robert McCall, he don't need a gun. 
he would he took care of a dude with a book who was coming after him with the Uzi. Um, he didn't use any any form of gun until the nail gun at the end of the movie. I just think um, you know, he he would he would take care of John Wick. There are other reasons that I, I would get into if if it don't make all the but um uh, that that that's my vote. Now let somebody else go. PJ. <laughs> oh hell. Would you like hey, to return? Oh my god. There's no way grandpa's gonna kill that to do that with uh that you know those metal uh black cards. That's such horseshit. You can't cut someone with those things unless they're serrated. No, Denzel can. Just show no, he can. He's like oh, 15 years, years old. Would you, you watching Ryan? <laughs> what you watching? Geriatric can't do that. Give me a break. But he did it. He's got to stop and take his meds. This is bullshit. <laughs> no, this is not even in. This is not even a conversation, man. John Wick all the way. No. All right. The reason why he uses guns because he's got them accessibles. But have you not seen him do jujitsu on people on John Wick? <laughs> <Yeah. one? laughs> That's what that was. The gun foo. They called it gun foo, right? Gun foo. Yeah, man. Yeah. Which is awesome. I mean. All right, if there was like fifty guys coming out Equalizer, McCall, with like Uzis, he's not gonna stop every one of them. John Wick he's can. He will with a toothpick. A <laughs> I mean, he could he could stop one guy with an Uzi. Yes, can he stop like twenty guys coming at him with guns? Watch him, PJ. Just watch you. Um, let, let, yeah, let me say this. I, and prior to me seeing this movie today, I was like, yeah, Wick, you know, would take it. When I saw this movie, this dude is calculated. I mean, this dude is, see, the, the problem with John Wick is everybody knows who the Baba Yeager is. Oh, here he comes, John Wick. They don't know who this cat is. They have no idea who this man is. And, you know, he's disciplined. I mean, really disciplined, even all the way down to what he eats, you know what I mean? And I just, this cat, he picked up not one firearm this whole movie. He destroyed the Russian, the Russian mob's infrastructure, went, took out the boss. Uh, I mean, he did it all. Sat down with the man that was hunting him and said, yeah, what you want to do? I can keep going. You know, we can stop now. We can keep on going. I mean. It was all circumstance, though, a lot of it. Well, okay. Here's, you want sex? We'll talk circumstance. In the first John Wick, uh, uh -huh. They almost took him out a few times. Your boy uh, Defoe was watching his back. If he wasn't there, we wouldn't have mm -hmm. a sequel. You know what I mean? Defoe. So, I, uh, he was the his uh, buddy. He's I guess. Yeah. Oh, the character. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This I just think from what I've seen, uh, I I had to go with McCall. You know what I mean? I, I love John, John Wick, a bad man. I ain't taking nothing away from him, but. Uh, after seeing the movie, I gotta say, I gotta. Have you see, have you not seen John Wick two? Oh have my you god! Not please, please. You don't want to talk about John. Twenty thousand people after, like you got John the Wick whole... one. Trust me, you don't want to talk about John Wick two. <laughs> I'm with Why? you, Rodney. I I like John Wick two. What's wrong oh. with John Wick two? What's bad? Man. Man. Who's missing? All right, listen. In the second one, especially John Wick, like, like, look, Denzel man is mad and everything. Like, first of all, if Denzel killed John Wick's puppy, bro, Denzel's dead. Like, it's, yeah, it's guaranteed, instantly. right? Secondly, instantly. Like, look at like the average person each character's facing within the films, and I'm including John Wick one and two. Mate, with mate, the assassins. Denzel would have killed John Wick and taken his puppy. <laughs> No, he wouldn't. No. Have, he would have gotten shot before no, he got bro. the green. You know that. Straight you know that scene where you just where said he doesn't use a gun much. Look, okay, here's my take though. It's really simple, go. right? John Wick's got part of an organization. He's got that lovely hotel he can crash at. He's got all that money. All these, all these, you know. He, whenever he cracks the shits, he just goes downstairs and breaks open the floor and pulls out the big wads of gold coins. Uh huh. What does that have anything that? to do with, with this conversation? In a shit box. <laughs> in a shit box. He kills people with toothpicks and, and forks. You know what I mean? Right. So, hey, if you're going to have that him to the same level he's poor. Uh, equipment and stuff like he's that, poor you look, look, what it, look what Denzel can do with a toothpick, man. Give him an Uzi and he's going to kill 100 people. Forget Chuck oh, Norris. That's he's that, the yeah, guy. That's it. That's it. They need to make no. a movie. John Wick no, versus mate, first of all, don't ever bring Chuck Norris in this conversation, okay? I could I could give you twenty million Chuck Norris ism. Chuck Norris is 
is number one over these guys. Oh, 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 his what, what? On I thought I agree with Pete. Get the hell out of here. Now I don't I don't even want you to like John Wick anymore. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm sorry. I, I gotta say this. And this is gonna hurt. John Wick was stupid. No, oh, no, Paul was smart. <laughs> Let, yeah, the man let, me, let me break this down for you. Let me break this down for you. And I'm just going to use part two because you know what? I didn't have much problem with part one. In part one, it was a revenge thing. I understood what he was going through. In part two, from the beginning, it was stupid. As it's going on, I'm thinking, why the fuck are you? Why are you in that situation? Why are you in that situation? Why are you making a deal with a weasel because of the rules? You're making a deal with a weasel to kill somebody yeah. who... Who shut? Let, let me finish. Who you admit is your friend? You're making a deal with the weasel because of rules to kill somebody who you admit is your friend. So then you kill that person, and the bodyguard of that person who you were cool with. Now that person's on your on your on your bad side. Not only did you you snuck in to kill her, but then you leave in the open to leave. When you leave, you leave in public. You leave in the crowd, so you get seen. Yes, that happened. I saw the so okay. So, you can't so, so you're not you, you yeah. weren't even smart enough to leave, you know, secretly the way you came in. You were stupid. And and John Wick is just a real straightforward type of guy. So he leaves publicly, but then uh -huh. but then get this. Oh, the dude who's the weasel who you made the deal with. Oh my god, he betrayed you, he turned his back on you and went after you. Who would have saw that shit coming? So then at the end of the movie, what do you do? This guy who made the deal with the weasel because he was following the rules at the end breaks the fucking rule and kills him. Exactly. And no place he can't kill him. He's yeah. stupid. <laughs> He's no, stupid. he said. <laughs> and, then, and then that brings up my point too. John Wick would be too wouldn't be bothered killing you. He's too busy trying to save his own life because every other hitman in the world's trying to kill him. Where no one knows who the hell Denzel is. Who the hell is this black guy? And he almost, well, he, if not for the guy he, who runs the place, he would have died in part two. He got grace in part two. He's been getting his ass set, getting lucky in both of the movies. Both of the movies, he got broke up. Okay, and, okay. So that's a great, that's a great argument. But there's only one equalizer, so you can't really make that argument because we haven't seen the second one. And at, and in in the trailer, he he cuts some guy's skull with a metal uh, credit card. Give me a break. <laughs> no, he's he's like 55 years old. Throat. Give me a break. Cut him in the throat. Didn't cut his neck. Hey, I mean, hey, hey. Have you never no, he cut him on the head? Cut he cut him on the head. It showed his head. Yeah, he cut him you, on the head. You cut yourself with a piece of paper. You know, hey. You can't cut skull with these paper. Well, well, watch the movie. <laughs> oh, you can't. No one you knows who Denzel But he did with the metal credit card. Oh, I'm gonna watch it again. I'm pretty sure that was his neck because he did. No, it. Head, I watched it because I was like, I was hoping. Yeah, there you go. Adrian brought up a good point. He said that if right. if um, Denzel was in the John Wick universe, everyone would, everyone would know him who he is. You know, and I said, yeah, they'd know him as that bloke who was retired, not to fuck with, and just keep well away from. Him. <laughs> yeah. no, he'd probably have the one. With the coins bounty on his head, to be honest, just like yeah, but you know what? John Wick, great with a gun. John Wick, John Wick is like, fuck it, man, come at me. I don't need to hide. I don't need to hide as an old man behind <laughs> whatever. <laughs> you know, he's like, hey, come on, hey, he's not hot, come on, man. come he's on, got come, 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 he's come, at me. To... come at me. <laughs> yeah, he went to a diner every night. What are you saying? <laughs> Work, work the Home Depot. Who, who the hell's gonna go to a diner? You know what's thing I didn't like? With glass windows, everybody could see him at the diner every freaking night. Oh, God, like he went no. to the Home Depot. Like I hope, I hope the Equalizer Two is good though, because to be honest, in the trailer, one thing that I had a problem with is that scene when he, when the girl was sent home and he comes back basically to kick their ass, kind of just looked like a copy and paste of when he dealt with the Russians in the first one. And I hope they don't go that route. You know, some movies kind of do that because if it works the first time, yeah, they yeah. have that formula where the second and third time is going to be like this the same. And what happens, it just goes really dry because you expect it. You know what I'm kind of saying? Yeah. Well, I, I think they're going to go yeah. more along um, the lines of like, that was what drew, yeah. drew him out of retirement in the first place. And it's going to draw him and out it's again. Gonna draw him out again because, you know, yeah. he's, he's, it's, it's in his face. Yeah. You know, he hasn't gone yeah. out looking for it, but... It's just bang yeah. landed in his lap. I just hope it's. Yeah, but, are we talking about John Wick? Talk about old, John Wick? The old handler gets killed in the second one, so that kind of draws it out more. Yeah, 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 yeah. true. Good point. Like John Wick already, was. I'm sorry. John, I'm sorry. Wick was, John Wick was 
the same situation as the equalizer, all right? He was just chilling no, with no. his damn dog. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, and then next thing you know, someone fucking killed his dog, and that's why he said, you know what? I'm out of this retirement shit. Yeah, I'm that's relatable, fuck. bro. If someone killed my dog, man, that's it. Everyone has to die. So what's going to happen in John Wick 3? They're going to kill his dog again? No, they killed his <laughs> no, dog. No, they're once. after him. So they no problem. No, no. Yeah, the yeah, yeah all right, the second one, he gives his dog to the dude that is the yeah, dog, concierge the at the hotel. Yeah, because he can trust. Yeah. Go watch him. Yeah, bro. Right. There's no problem with the first John Wick. Second one. All right, right. Let me let me hear what you have to say about John Wick. And- so you can't compare the two movies, right? You can't compare one movie, one franchise that's got two movies versus one another one that's just got one. Now, when we've seen it, obviously that's cool. That's fair game, I think. But I think you have to right now. You've got to compare the first movie against the first movie to make this a fair mm-hmm. fight. And put it this way, mate. Make it a fair fight. I'll put Training Day up against any Keanu Reeves movie. <laughs> That's not even, even the done. fucking movie. <laughs> That's not even the fucking movie. That's not the same concept. Man, you, you just went to a different level. You just went to a ain't got nothing on me. I think you need to switch to water, small. dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, Ryan, who do you have? You have John Wick? Yeah, easily. Okay. <laughs> Damn, no 55 year old. Adrian. No 55 year old's gonna yeah, be you running around. The age, age don't matter in this. This is this yeah, is they're right. Hey, this don't matter. It don't matter. All he does is he. I mean, you, even in the. All he does is kill people. Hey, with hey Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. It's really easy, Quick. man. There's a common saying here in Australia: age and treachery will always overcome youth and skill. Look, all I know is what's smarter when you're fighting multiple people to bring bring a gun, or to just walk in there trying to be some. You know, crafty or old take man. Out one <laughs> <of them. laughs> All right, Adrian, who do you have? Ah, uh, John Wick, man. All right, Don't kill and Jason. Dog, that's all I'm going to say. You're all going to die. Jason, who do you have? Equalizer. That's why we're the odd couple. Ah, uh, it's even. We need we need, we need one more <laughs> odd number person oh, to come give us a. We'll ask Les Gino. Les Gino. Okay. <laughs> all right. So <laughs> that actually ended a lot quicker than I thought it would. Uh, so, so hold on a second. Am I right in saying that the equalizer won? No. no. Because, uh, yeah, three and three. What is in oh, that beer? Wait, 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 guys. We still need to talk about ES. Oh come on. <laughs> no, no, no. You, you know what? I think I think that ES kind of like like drained us out. So by the time we got into John Wick versus, like, yeah, uh, what to say? What, what's on our mind? That's it. <laughs> yeah, we're like, oh, all right, here all we right. go. You better one hot topic at a time. You better eat your Wheaties next week because it's San Diego Comic Con. They're gonna have oh, lots of reveals, and we're gonna have a special guest on here that we all looking forward to. So, um, you know, it's gonna be a special show. You better be here next week, next Friday night, <laughs> eight thirty. This. Please don't, please don't bring her next week. Please, I'm begging you. Please, <laughs> you know what's gonna <laughs> Please don't freak out our guests because you you making out with Red Sun. Yeah, we don't want her to know much. No, I'm not making out with her. I'm just having her next to me. What, what's wrong with that? I'm appreciating. Art. Stabbed in the neck by the axe, <laughs> by the bottom of the axe. What's I funny know, is right? if he ends up breaking off one of the arrows as he's. Oh, 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 that would have oh, sucked, oh, right? On camera, I just want to see his reaction. No, they're metal. Listen, they're metal. They're metal. They're good. Really? They're good. So around yeah, midweek right. next week, we're going to announce who our special guest is and uh should be special. I'm looking forward to it. I know Ronnie looking forward to it. Everybody right looking on. forward to it. So, uh, yeah. We thank you for watching, everybody out there. And uh, don't have an attitude, have a collective Don't worry about no addition size. Peace out, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Always have addition size. Mr. McCall. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 40 seconds. That's right. I can do it. (laughs)